in that bar there was an old muzungu mmoja wa wale wakutoa lock so i started asking about that muzungu because i know this muzungu will not live for very long so when he died uh, shiko called me and told me then has died nikamwambia hiyo tulikuwa tunatarajia lakini ameandika nini <laughs> shiko went to the lawyer the german government does not know so she can't inherit anything tulilia three days can you imagine three days because how do you import a man to marry you so that he can die and leave you all that property and then he just dies without writing anything you know it, it was very frustrating unfortunately when he died i was not there his mother is the one who was there so when he died the mother went and told the clan uko kwa masaini that i'm the one who had killed him i insisted i wanted a postmortem but by the time i insisted i wanted a postmortem the body had already been moved from kirugoya to <coughs> chiromo and she said the son had a new postmortem so alikufa hivyo na akaziko hivyo i was not allowed to view the body i was not allowed to bury him i didn't go beyond chiromo and they told me you come will kill you that's the only man who has ever truly loved me in my life don't close in on the bad things this person was not born an addict this person started by experimenting then they got trapped into addiction we all started by drinking but nobody in the entire world chooses to be an addict you find yourself trapped in that addiction you find yourself in that dark pit of addiction and you cannot be able to pull yourself out mm-hmm. someone else has to step into the addiction world hold your hand and come out with you Hey guys, welcome to today's episode of LNS Rebuilding Restoration Series. My name is Lynn Gugi and I am so so happy to be able to have this conversation today because I always say the purpose of rebuilding and restoration is that so that you're able to hear from someone's story and see what can I be able to pick from this person and how can I be able to better my life because I keep saying and I've said it over and over again at any given moment in life you have the choice and you have a way to decide and say this is not how my life is going to be she is going to inspire you and i'm pretty sure we are going to rebuild a lot with her but before i do let her introduce herself of course i want to say thank you so much to you our amazing subscribers for making our dream to 1 million subscribers happen i do not take it for granted that you watch and remember to subscribe and also i do not take it for granted that you have decided to be active active participants of our work thank you so much on the beautiful feedback you're giving us also on our thought provoking conversations we do not take it for granted and of course to say thank you to my amazing team for always coming through i've said it you get to see me in front of the camera but it takes an entire team to put this work together so shukran sana team lnn and in case you love my coat dama insisted i put on something that is not black today this was a gift from from one of our fans uh, Vicky I'm going to put the details on screen so if you love it get something this is not an ad but just a way of appreciating them for just thinking of me and making sure that I look good when doing this show and of course now without further ado please allow me to let my guest introduce herself we decided to color coordinate <laughs> we did not speak to each other mapema <laughs> we just found ourselves looking like this good morning good morning how are you I'm Fine, thank you, you look amazing thank like, you very I'm much amazing amazing how are you feeling i'm feeling good yeah I'm well you're well mm, happy right. to be here karibu sana kwetu thank welcome you. to lnn thank yes you. Mm. anyone that is maybe catching you for the very first time mm-hmm. could you please introduce yourself good morning viewers my name is anjeri matho uh, i am a recovering alcoholic i celebrated my 20th anniversary on 22nd of august Uh, I'm also a recovery coach. I'm also a psychological counselor 
and I'm the vice chair of Nakada Board of Directors. Hey. Thank you very much. Congratulations Thank on you. your 20 years. Mm -hmm. God, it's a beautiful journey. Yes, it is. You just mm -hmm. you being able to also share your story with people. Yes. Of course, I've heard your story in a couple mm -hmm. of platforms mm -hmm. and I'm always really inspired at how much you tell it from scratch mm -hmm. so that maybe it can be able to inspire people. But that's my assumption. Mm -hmm. Why do you do it? You, why do you do it? I do it because um, one, being a woman, it's uh, it's very stigmatizing uh, when you get into alcohol and drug abuse. And especially when you get to the later stages where you're not able to control your drinking and all uh, to control your drugging. Yes. So people will judge us, people will belittle us, people will sideline us, people will outcast us even from family. Every time you go to a family gathering, nobody will allow you to talk. Every time you meet a family member, they will always call you a failure. The community rejects you, so you, je you get rejection. From uh, Personally, I got rejection from my children, my family, the community around me, mm -hmm. and even friends. Mm -hmm. Especially when I ran out of uh, money, having worked in, in good hotels, and then when I lost my job and I didn't have money, people started running away from me. And then again, when I went deep into addiction, again, that was the worst moment because I became a loner among people. I was a very lonely person among people. And um, it drove me to being suicidal. Uh, I attempted suicide three times mm -hmm. because of the society, the people around me because they kept on confirming what I felt about myself. Mm -hmm. I wanted to be near my children. I wanted to be a mother. I wanted uh, to be part of the family. I wanted to be somebody in the community because actually when I was young, I wanted to be a model. I wanted to be uh, a near hostess and you know, all those kind of things. Yeah. And now I saw that I, I, I didn't uh, fulfill my personal expectations, mm -hmm. family expectations had let the family down, uh, societal expectations, you know, like us, the Kikuyus, mm -hmm. you know, we have those norms what, where the society expects a lot of you, yes. a lot from you, especially if you've been to a good school like mm -hmm. I was in Gandu Girls. Mm -hmm. So everybody expected me to be either a doctor or, you know, somebody, you know, high in the society. Yeah. And that did not happen, mm -hmm. irrespective of having been in a very good school. I failed my exams because of drinking and smoking, which was started by my father when I was a young girl. All right. So my dad started giving, giving me alcohol, a sip here of Muratina, and a, a Muratina which was considered a harmless African brew. Mm -hmm. And uh, a little did we know that us we are genetically predisposed. So my father was an alcoholic and he never saw anything wrong with giving me alcohol. So I started uh, when I was about 10 years old. I started smoking when I was 10. My father still used to give me the cigarette and mm -hmm. tell me, light it for me. Mm -hmm. And so I would cough and cough and cough. Then he would tell me, you'll get used to it. And I got used to it uh, until my dad was involved in a grisly road accident uh, between Muranga and uh, Kabati. Mm -hmm. Well, he was under the influence of alcohol and he died. So he was a senior administration officer with Ika Municipal Council. So we moved from Muranga to Thika in 1968, when Muranga bec when Thika became a, a municipal council. Mm -hmm. So my dad was one of the senior people. And so uh, Thika was a small uh, settler's town where we had a lot of Wazungus, Waindis and Arabs, where we had members clubs, we had the country club, mm -hmm. we had the Thika sports club and you know, and Blue Post was also very famous mm -hmm. for the Wazungus and all that. Mm -hmm. So when my farm, being a senior person in, in the municipal council, he became a member of those clubs. So we started now going to those high-end clubs mm -hmm. where, you know, everybody drank and everybody smoked and, you know, nobody wrong so uh, found it, nobody saw it wrong or nobody yeah. could, you know, mm -hmm. Say something to a person who is giving a, a, a child alcohol. In fact, even the other people used to, to call their children and give them a sip here and there. Unfortunately, most of them are dead. Mm. Most of the people who, that clique of people who start giving their children alcohol are dead or they are in a state whereby they are chronic relapses. Mm. 
we'll keep on. Because you see that now that the brain is still growing, mm -hmm. alcohol is there, cigarettes are there. The environment was not conducive for us. It was very a toxic environment of alcohol. Uh, these women who are married to the Wazungus, I used to really love how they used to smoke, how they used to wear their wigs, you know. And you know, my mom, my mom was very antisocial. Yes. <laughs> she was those people who just kept it house. Mm -hmm. My dad was very social, very outgoing, talking to people. Everybody knew me and my father in the estate. The extroverts. <laughs> <laughs> I'm telling you. So even everybody knew us, you know, in the club. My dad was known all over. And so when he died, it was, um, it was a big blow to me. Mm. A big, big blow to me. Mm. Because you see, I was not very, very close. I can't say I had um, a very good relationship with my mom. Because I found my mom was very strict. She was a teacher. She was very, very strict. And um, she didn't like my dad taking us out as children. But she didn't have a say. As a wife of an alcoholic, mm -hmm. you have no say. Mm -hmm. The alcoholic has the say mm -hmm. uh, in the way. So my mom just kept quiet. But whenever my dad was not there, we really used to get it tough. Especially yeah. now being the bus firstborn. When I'm at home, my mom now used to get a, now a chance to go and visit her friends. So what did she used to make me do? Parent my siblings. Something I didn't like. I was still a child. I wanted to be a child. I wanted her to play. And he had been given a responsibility of taking care of my siblings. Mm -hmm. Uh, my uh, third born brother was another one who was crazy. He would disappear from home and, you know, you'll find him four houses down, uh, down the estate. Mm -hmm. And if my mom ever came and f didn't find him in the house, I used to get the beating. So my mom would tell me, Ikifika Sakumi, give this one uh, porridge, uh, watch this one. I mean, ah, 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 ah. I, did, I didn't like that. And so... What I used to do whenever my dad is going out over the weekend, I used to, if I used to find me in that Volkswagen of his, <laughs> I had like a small Volkswagen, so I would sit inside there and you know, there was like something we used to use. Hold on. To. I'm inside. Yeah. Yeah. I've taken a shower before him yes. and waiting for him inside the car because uh -huh. now this man of washing kids and looking after them, mm -mm. running after them, mm -mm. the whole estate. I mean, ch uh, parents should allow children to be children. Because later on, they'll start doing the, 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 whatever they were supposed to do when their kids, when they were already oh, grown up. And that's actually why you find all grown-up men uh, 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 at the pool, pool tables from morning till evening. Because they never just had beer. <laughs> no. So they be on the pool tables. Yeah, they are doing what they didn't do when they're children. So you find a whole grown-up now man, for three hours. <laughs> and I'm telling you, you won't move out of that pool table. <laughs> And he's playing that this pool with his children. Yes. Like he's more excited than the children themselves. Uh -huh. Because the children had a chance maybe in, in these now schools where we have CBC and they can be able to play in, in this kind of thing. <laughs> yeah. So if he was brought up where well, you had to go and fetch water and firewood and he never had time to play, you can't remove him from the pool table. Oh. Believe you me. Hey. So let us allow our children to be children. And let us not give the responsibility of the firstborn to parent the siblings. So after my dad died, I started sneaking alcohol into school and introducing other girls to drinking and smoking. You know, I used to find you very ushago if you've never tasted alcohol. We mshamba. We mshamba sana. And even cigarettes. I mean, so when we got to form two, when Kenyatta died, all the, all the, the, the senior people in the government, because the, it, the, we had a very... Um, the, the, the political climate was mm -hmm. very uncertain. Mm -hmm. Nobody knew who was going to be the president. With the, uh, you know, we had the Kiambu Mafia who was saying, I, I was Peter Chania. We had another group which was saying Moi cannot be the president until Jojo came in and said, no, he's a vice president, so we are giving him three months. Akaji organized in mm -hmm. those three months. Mm -hmm. hey. So everybody brought all their children from Loreto Songari, from all over, you know those schools? Yes. The, Yes, the schools. Yes. The cream de la cream. <laughs> they yes. also went to the Ushago schools. <laughs> Akinagandu, Mutumutumu. Eh. And even some from St. Mary's were brought to Kagumo and Nyerihai. These are the girls now who used to bring alcohol and cigarettes. Not one stick, but mm -hmm. buckets. Eh. No, no. Na ile pombe ina akina southern comfort. You know, others we've never had. Yes. And uh, Maya's ram and all eh, this kind of things. What? Maya's ram. Oh, okay. So we had a place called Siberia. We, we had nicknamed the place you had Siberia. A Siberia. <laughs> <laughs> Siberia was very bushy, very foggy. Oh. So we used to go to Siberia to drink and smoke there. So, you know, we had, uh, the, uh, Gandu then was a Catholic school, under the, uh, the Catholic uh, sisters. Mm. 
uh, I don't know what we used to call them, but they were Italians. And our sister was called Nazarena Zonta. She was so tough. Sister Nazarena was so tough. She knew there were girls smoking, but she never caught us. And then we would do crazy things like to go to the neighbor's shamba and steal sugar cane. Can you imagine? Mm. Sasa miwa ni kitu ya kuenda kuiba. Kwa nini? So, mwenye, mwenye shamba anapiga nduru on the other side of the valley. <laughs> and people are wondering why he's picking nduru. <laughs> and as we are stealing sugar cane and bringing it into to school. school. Anyway, all that rubbish <laughs> never, you know, I had no time now to study. And uh, I, I failed my exams. Actually, I got a third division. <laughs> you are and, the queen of Siberia. Yes, I was the queen of <laughs> Siberia. And then... Um, <laughs> That division, I understand it's D. Ni D minus kama ni D plus. Ni D. Sasa unawana ningekua governor kama ni D. I was still unag. Oh, by the way, sorry, atunaweza kuwa governor na iyo D. Ndi unaweza kuwa governor. Undachagulua kuwa governor. Hata ni CS, by the way. Eh. Eh. Ni ambie. Ni CS. Ni CS. D. Minus. Imagine in Kekua CS. Mm -hmm. With the third division, I couldn't join from 5 yes. six. So I joined Kenya Poly. Yeah. So Kenya Poly now, this is where the freedom came. Eh? The, the, the freedom I was telling mm -hmm. you about. Uh, in Kenya Polytechnic, uh, I enrolled for a diploma course in IM. And I was a government sponsored student. Yeah. So we used to get a boom of 500 shillings. And a, and a beer was going for three shillings and fifty cents. That was in 1980. Yani ukiwa na pound. Ukiwa na pound na six exports. And a packet of cigarettes and matchbox. Twenty bob. So now you can imagine, e, 500 was, we were supposed to buy books. Books and whatever and whatever else we needed for, for, for the classes. And I used to buy clothes. Clothes, shoes, drink, make friends, you know, organize for dancing competition. And then in 1981, I enrolled for Miss Kenya Beauty Contest. And I came second. Oh. Clap for me. Like in year number two, Livania Nilia Zana. Nilia, because mm. actually, I used to Skype classes in the afternoon to go and, 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 and train how to catwalk. We were being trained by Ellie Blunt, Amzungu. Yes. So every afternoon I would go to KICC to catwalk. And then the one who was number one, who became number one, she didn't even know how to catwalk. Oh. She didn't even know how to turn. Oh. She didn't even know how to pose for photos. Yes. She didn't know anything, but the boyfriend was a judge and he was an assistant minister. Ah, so this and he was thing a started of a long time ago. Yeah, he didn't start juicy. Ah, okay. So, Yanni, they'll get that title number two, but I cried with Baya Sana because mm -hmm. I, I deserve that number one. I deserve, even now, if I can't work for you, you'll take me very good photos. Good. So, uh, actually, <laughs> <laughs> so this time round, now being a beauty queen, now you know you have to change friends. Yes. So, the first person to drop was my boyfriend, who was a student at Kenya Polytechnic, because they cannot, there's no way you can be a beauty queen. Namunaenda namutu na bus. Najua ile bus ilikuwa ya two doors. Oh. So how we, we used to manage how to get off at the next bus stop without paying. Because you enter this through this. When when you see the, <laughs> the conductor coming, you, you, you get off the next bus stop and you wait for the next bus. Yeah. We could go from my cousins who lived in Kibera. Free of charge. I could go from community because our hostels were in community to Kibera free of charge and come back free of charge. <laughs> So, nilikuwa ni meonyesha boyfriend yangu, nilikuwa alikuwa nungwe kiasi. So, I don't know how to <laughs> get to anywhere without, <laughs> without paying. <laughs> and you know, since now, this beautiful girl and you know, so he used to do everything I tell him. So, that one I decided, no, this one, how do you take this person to Hilton? You know? Because now you start going to high-end clubs, you know, hotels, Hilton, 680. So, you dropped him? No, I dropped him. No, his, his work was to... Panga line for me when we are, we are taking service charge. Wow. <laughs> I mean, not service charge. <laughs> Boom. Wow. She dropped him like a hot pot. No, I, I dropped my two. Please, definitely just look for a person of your class. Because now, because let me tell you one thing. When you become a beauty queen, you have to go to, you get to another level of not taking buses, but having a boyfriend with a real good car and real good money. Okay. 
si gari ya kwenda ku ku ku, ku, ku zimia round about <laughs> and then he starts telling him ati wewe kalisha gari clutch imekata ati imekata petroli ati chukua kibuyu aende petrol station not those kind of men hmm? muga si gari ya kutoa mwashi black hmm? si gari ya kustuliwa na ingine <laughs> with a car that needs to pick you hey and then i got a complimentary to use the kenatco taxis and you know kenatco taxis were mercedes benzes oh oh yes and the drivers used to wear gloves so when they're opening for you can imagine now being picked at kenya polytechnic as a student in a mercedes kenatco mercedes and they, they only used to stop at hilton not anywhere else not uber Ati unapigia simu ati nini nini nini. You call Hilton Hotel for them to send that Mercedes to where you are. Check hiyo. Yes. It's not a small car. No. And then this one is dropping you either at Hilton, at 680, at uh, International Casino, Safari Park. No na yeah. complimentary. So na complimentary ikienda kuisha, mle vile lazima kuwe na plan B. Plan B is getting a boyfriend with a real good car. So I got one. Si mchezo. He used to drive uh, a GTV Alfa Romeo. No, you don't get Toyota in that sun. You know that time we used to have even that sun. Yes. <laughs> See, so? No, 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 no. An Alfa Romeo. So, <laughs> I went out with this boyfriend. And again, not these boyfriends who buy, uh, who keep on asking Bill Mefika Wapi. You know, I'd, even up till today, I don't like those kind of people. At when they take you out, they start asking the waiter, Ebu, let her your bill. What for? Can you wait until we eat and finish eating and everything and we finish drinking whatever we are drinking and then we'll let her bill and you shut up and pay? Hey. You know, there are some people, when you ask for another <laughs> cup of tea, they will look at the bill. Not those kind of people because we can afford to take yourself out. This is not the time we were begging for alcohol <laughs> and begging for drinks, you know. But they were paying you, would you have paid for yourself? No, that's also when you start now structuring your maisha well. Yes. Yes, so, so but you don't are very calculated. Very that's what right. you're saying. That is the thing. You cannot be a beauty queen and going with people who keep on checking bills. It's people who will ask at the end, end. when you're going home. After they ask you, baby, you're good. Are you okay? You sure it... you don't want to add anything? Mm -hmm. You're good? Absolutely. Okay, give me the bill now. Yes. Okay, scholar. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Until today that I'm not drinking, I don't like those kind of people who, who keep on asking Billy Mefika Wapi, if you did not have money for taking me out, kindly let me take myself out. Okay. Sipendi, that's one tabi I don't like. Okay. I don't like. Tell me, I'll treat you. Mm. Yeah, but don't keep on asking for Bill Lapa Kati Kati. Because you know, maybe you wanted some fruit salad, Amesha Uliza Bill, unaona? Unakuwa na uwoga. Sasa unakuwa na uwoga ya kusema, no, I wanted some, some desserts. desserts. Queen. <laughs> Aisha mtani maliza. Hey. Anyway. Sao nikuwa na tesa. Nilikuwa na tesa sana. Walikuwa na niyona wanga anguka wana okotu wa chini. Hey, wacha. Sayo mekatu oki ya koyote. You have to, you know, once you get a place, you have, you know, you have to, to make heads turn. You have to make head stand. As a model, you have to make head stand. Mm -hmm. So you, you, you know how to walk, you know how to turn, you know how to say hi to people, you know how to size people up. You have to walk with your chin level to the ground. You have to have nice hair. You know? Mm. Yes. Hey. So that they ask, na huyu ni nani? Hmm? Hey. sasa wewe ukiingia tu, fwa. And make sure you have shoes like this that will make a little bit of noise. Yeah. As you enter, so that they, they, they notice who is that who is coming in. Uh -huh. So anyway, after <laughs> Polly, I didn't I didn't pass my exams again. <laughs> <laughs> this Maisha was way too much. Maisha was London so for me. So all you did was party. <laughs> I was partying <laughs> and looking nice. Okay. So, uh, but uh, since I was a government-sponsored student, I had to work for the government. Mm -hmm. So I was posted to my equator. No, this this boyfriend of mine of Alfa Romeo actually just made me pregnant and, and disappeared. So I went to Nanyuki 
pregnant. The guy has disappeared. He's nowhere to be seen. So here I am with my pregnancy. And the guy is just saying, okay, I will see you. No, what he used to ask is, Mishidagani mm. ukonayo. Nipesa, I'll send money. I think when I was pregnant, he only came to see me twice. And then when I gave birth, he came and picked me from the hospital. He named my daughter after his father, paid the hospital bill and disappeared. He reappeared after one year. <laughs> <laughs> to see if the baby is still Sasa okay. watu wa GTV kusema kweli kumbe ni wakukula happy peke yake. Yeah. So when it comes to responsibility, sasa GTV ka disappear. Mm. So uh, he came for the first birthday. We did the birthday party for the baby and then he disappeared. So I later learned that he was living with another woman. And this frustrated me very, very much. This is one person I trusted so much. You know why I trusted this person so much? Is because alikuwa mesha kuja nyumbani na waze when I was already pregnant. So I was looking forward to getting married to this guy. And then you hear there's somebody else. And then now all of a sudden he doesn't want you to go to his house. All of a sudden when you want to take her, he's telling you let's go to a hotel. I said, okay, next time I'm not going to a hotel, you will see dust. I'm coming there. So uh, they, they went and called the police. Mm. So I was arrested. Can you imagine being arrested on Thursday? Na... Nista. So to talk Tuesday. To talk on Tuesday. What a nikai kwa cell. For four days. Uh -huh. I stayed in the cell for four days. And uh, uh, the guy used to bring me food. So, hapo kwa cell, we have lawyers. Mwaja kaniambia. Ati, ati ulifanya nini, ndilifanya hivi na hivi. Kaniambia, a a. Hata usikuwe na wasiwasi because hata mimi nilichinja mwanamke mwingine na ki, na mkebe ya blue band na nikafungwa 20, 20 years. So we ukifungwa sema unataka kwenda langata. Langata ni kuzuri sana. Hata hiyo miaka 20 sijui ilisha aje. Oh. And she's in the cell again I don't know for beating I don't know or I don't know whatever else she had done. So she she told me ni, so you know you give stories. So akaniambia now you you, are, you have a very big advantage here. One, this woman is a Tanzanian, and you say she doesn't have papers. She's here illegally. So that is what you're going to use against mm. her. So, ukiwitwa, because now, hii kesi yako tatuoni ikienda sana kotini, because huu mtu wako wako na do. So, vile atafanya, atapea na do, malizia, malizia out of court. So, we ukienda kwa UCS ama UCPD, utuwa hii story ya huu mother, dio, huyu mama rudishwe kwa huu. Mm. Dio nawe urudi kwa wako. Mm -hmm. And that's what I did. Hey. So when we went, we were called by the OCS. We were told eh, this and this. I said, ulifanya hivi na hivi? Eh, kwa nini ulifanya hivi na hivi? Because he's my husband and we have a daughter together. My daughter is named after his mother. So I don't even know who the, what this woman is doing in, in his house. And on top of that, she's a Tanzanian. She's, be, she's been living here illegally. And she I don't even know why you have not arrested this man hey. who is keeping her in the house. Watch a case iwageuke. So now me, I'm feeling mellow. I'm winning. <laughs> Sasa, nikaambiwa, now you go back to Nanyuki, na usi wai pigana tena. Wewe, we are giving you 24, hour for, 24 hours for this woman to leave this country and go back to Tanzania. Tanzania. If within 24 hours she's still in your house, we are going to arrest you both. Nani kama mimi. Nikaitisha GTV, I'm not going to buy matatu. I'm going by GTV, you give me a driver and you do shopping for me and you give me money. Let's go to Barclays Bank. Hakuna ATM sasa sinikuenda. Na munaenda bumper to bumper to see how much is withdrawing, whether it will be enough for you, for fuel, for food, for maintenance and everything. Hey. So I was given the money and the GTV and I went to Nanyuki. And you um, and Kaisha decided now, the best thing now was just to drink. Mm. So I started, then we used to drink with my friend, Alikuwa Naitwa, I won't say the name. Mm. The bar was called Kiambiriria. Can you imagine from Hilton to Kiambiriria bar? Kiambiriria bar was just before you enter Nanyuki town. That's why it was called Kiambiriria. So my friends would call up me and ask me, Ah, Kashari, these days where do you drink? And I said, Kiambi. And that bar called Kiambi, a nice place. So, I was born in Hilton. I was Hilton. I was born in gloves. I asked my friend, mm. isn't Degas in Apitaga Apa? Where do they go to? 
Then she told me, you know those fighter jets, eh? yes. how they come. So she told me, like, like keep your air base. And then I asked her, you mean there is an air base here? And you have been drinking here at Camberaria? I told her, where do these pilots who fly these fighter jets drink? She told me Marina, Sportsman Arms, and um, there's another one that was used to be on the equator line. I don't remember what it mm. used to be called. Nika Mambia, from tomorrow, from tomorrow, this coming weekend, we are going to Marina. And the baby now? I had a house girl. Oh, so you leave now the baby? Now I leave the baby. Eh. Sasa, you know, there are some shoes you don't remove. Like now when you are pregnant, the stilettos. I used to wear shoes like this. Now if I wear, I'll break my legs. <laughs> remove my stilettos. I went, you know, I had pumped my hair with that Revlon chemical. Yes. Remember in the 80s, it was the only chemical. It used to burn us. And then roll us. So I rolled my hair but for that day. So and I had long hair and then my stilettos and then my model look and my model walk. Where that touch? I entered Marina eh? in style. All heads turned. So me and my friend, we sat down. So drinks are coming, drinks are coming. You know, the one thing is this beautiful girl who has come, you know, she doesn't look like this one's over here. <laughs> so she's telling me, how come me, I come here and they never buy for me? How do you, you know, she used to make those matuta ya kushikana, those lines. Kamata. Yeah, how Kap does a captain talk to you when you are doing your hair like that? Kambia, we've got to style up. If you want these captains to buy for you alcohol, very, very, the way they are buying. So actually what I wanted is not even a boyfriend who is a pilot. I wanted someone who can actually get me a lot of alcohol from the mess. Because I was so devastated. You know now I was feeling lost. I'm feeling, you know how you feel now like life does not matter. And let me just drink yes, and die yes. maybe. Mm. So there were, there, were, there were some nice captains there, nice looking. But I told them, excuse me, I'm not looking for a boyfriend, right? I'm just looking for friends. Because I think I've had enough of men, but I want you to be my friend so that you can supply me with alcohol from AFCO. And actually, alcohol was only a phone call away. I would call this captain, he's not there, I call the other captain. Na pombe inaletwa kwangu na Land Rover ya Air Force. So I had a whole corner cabinet full of alcohol in the house. And it got to some time now, I got somewhere into depression. Because of you know, or what I've been through in life. I didn't, I didn't, I never saw all, so all those things coming. And yet I was so young, you see. So I became a closet drinker, drinking in the house, sleeping kwa kitty. And my house girl would wake me up. Mama, so ni si, mama, irimo si ukula kidogo, si ukula kidogo. And then I decided, no, this is not my life. I'll venture now out. Let me go drink and dance and be coming in the morning. I beca just became wild, you know. And uh, there was one captain who wanted to marry me. But I didn't like him. Because he's drinking when it, when people now want to go to the disco and enjoy themselves, we want to go to sportsman arms and dance, he's saying we go home. Ah, ah, you need to party. Ah, ah, me, I need to party. And how old are you here? 19. 19, 20. A very frustrated young mother. At times even I was thinking it's better if I died. And then, you know, I was seeing my daughter at a back in a nanny, you know. I was not partying because I wanted to party. I was partying because I was, I was so frustrated. I was a frustrated young mother. So I fell out with the management of the school. And uh, I wish I married that captain because now I met his wife with a very nice car. Ah. <laughs> <laughs> in fact, I cried. Because if I'd married this man, you see, now I'm the one who would have been driving that car. Have and, your tea, and, and, and you know, they came in different cars. Yeah, you don't even share a car. Check in Maisha, London. And that girl used to sell in her father's shop. Can you imagine? Wow. Selling sodas and biscuits. Now she's the wife of... Because later he became a very senior man in this country. Mm. And the wife is driving. Is the passat zilipua zimetokelezea wakati wo. Yani uski yata ikiguruma. Na haka nipita hivi. Nika angalia vizuri. Nika ona ni yeye. Haa. The heartbreak. No, the tears came down. Hey, hey, hey. Hey. Nika sema kuka. I was the best chance of driving this very good. Kana sayo naenda mgu. Nimedropua na uba hapo. 
So anyway, now I started now venturing out and coming late. I fell out with the management of the school because it was a girl's school. So the headmaster called me and told me, no, we can't keep you anymore uh, because this is a girl's school. You coming at 3, 4 a.m., that's not the best. So I just took my daughter in my house girl and we left. We left everything, pack a sofa set and everything. You don't carry things. So we came to Nairobi. And in Nairobi, I stayed with my cousins for a little bit. And then I got a job at Pan Africa Hotel. Walevis are very lucky when it comes to getting jobs. So, and we are expert liars, expert manipulators. So if today, if right now I decide you're giving me 10,000, imagine Sivya Stokabila, Utanipatia. The stories I'll tell you here, and you know actually tears help. And I don't know where tears come from when we are cheating, lying, manipulating people. We can cry until we fall and faint, until we remove the money. So uh, I got a job at Pan Africa uh, through a family friend. And then uh, there was another lady when I was at Kenya Polytechnic because we used to come late and jump through the window and she used to report us. So she, how she passed the exam, so she was sitting next to me. We are waiting to be called in the HR's office. Nika mambia wewe. Unajua utapata, tutapata job sisi wate wabili. Lakini, I know you'll be my boss. Lakini, don't forget I'm still there and Mathu of Kenya Polytechnic. Don't forget that. I've not changed much. In fact, I'm worse. Mm. You try to, to, to report me one day. You tajua yesu ni buwana. So, we got jobs, both of us. Yes. She was my supervisor. But I used to tell her, nione umefungua yu mdomo kwa mdosi. Mm. And Mathu wamekuja later. And Mathu wamekuja kinuka pombe. You'll see me after the gate. To Kitokeleze, Johnny, I'll wait for you at the petrol station. So you know that petrol station? Yeah. <laughs> that petrol station here Pan Africa. I'll wait for you there. I will beat you. <laughs> so anyway, we inflict fear in people. Emotionally, psychologically, and all that. So what is that? You know, you know, you are trying to, what do you call it? Keep people away, away from you so that they don't question mm. your drinking. Mm. So at Pan Africa, my drinking had become so bad. So we used to clock in at 7, but I would clock in at 6.30 to drink at the swimming pool bar where the barman also mm -hmm. used to drink in the morning. He had a drinking problem. And so to look at And then we smoke and then to kauke. We used to get those alcoholic fits. How you kauke like this for a second or two, and then you, you stabilize. Then I'd, after I stabilize, I would go to the reception. I was in the housekeeping department. Take the room occupancy list, check for the vacant room, take the master key, go back to the swimming pool bar, and take the miniatures, go and store in the water system of the toilet of that vacant room. So that every time the alcohol level goes down, you know the shakes will start. Yes. Then I would go back to the room and take, and then in the evening at three, we used to live at three. Mm. At three, I would take the bottles and throw them away. So uh, like I said, uh, addiction is progressive. So, uh, within, after about a year and a half, I started missing work now. Every time I got my pay, I would disappear for one week. So they saw, now this lady came here with a lot of problems. There's no point of terminating her services. Eh? So they told me, we'll give you an option of going either to Kerichoti Hotel or Kilaguni Safari Lodge. All the hotel, all those hotels were under African tours and hotels. So I saw... Mm -hmm. These people are so tired of me, they want me to go to Kilaguni so that I can die. Because Kilaguni is a safari lodge and you have to drink. So you have to go to looking for alcohol. And the animals are there. They want me to be killed by those leopards mm -hmm. and lions so that they can put me in the newspaper and say, uh, for my employee of African tours and hotels. You know, Gary Akilia Mlevi Naendaka Kama Gari Mpia. So I saw and death. they are always the victims. Yes, I saw death in Kilaguni. <laughs> and I was not ready to die. I had not finished my stock. Mm -mm. So I said, I want to go to Kericho Tea Hotel. Before, I'd been to Kericho Tea Hotel, and I knew there was a bar in Aitwa Tass, up next. So I went with my brother. My brother was a poly drug abuser. May he so rest in peace. Mm -hmm. So my brother, when I now now Tass, to kind of come to a Tass, what time do you open? That's due eight. Why? We ask, we drink from six. So, uwe unafungua mapema ama utuonyesha kwako. Tunakuja, tunachukua kitu, naenda tunafungua, wea unakuja kuhesabu tumekunywa ngapi. Or you come with us, you open and lock us inside. We used to give him a tip for waking up early. Mm. So, 
so where my house was, the next fence was Tas. There was a dirt road and then Tas. So the gate at Tas, you have to go to the main road. And then my brother told me, let's make a hole here, a fence. So we used to pity through the hole in the fence. Then, kutokea kwa iyo hole unakuta nyumba ya baman. So, hapa muna endaga mukichukua ki. Or he wakes up and he opens the bar and he locks you inside. Mm. And then when it gets to about 7.30, 8, he comes and opens for us. We go again through the hole. Can you imagine? Like a dog. How the god dog goes through the hole. Ivi. A whole assistant housekeeper because I got promoted to be assistant housekeeper. Uh, so, uh, I was quick to identify a barman who was an alcoholic. May so rest in peace. He also died mm. from cirrhosis of the liver. So, uh, <clears throat> I said now, uh, I made friends with him and he started brewing for me coffee. Nekwa brandy or vodka or whatever. We, we, that time we were choiceless. Whatever is available, you put it inside the coffee and then make a lime. Uh, lime the, the juice, eh? then I make a slice of lemon up a ju, when I make a coffee pot, and I let work office. I started drinking on duty. So all I used to do was to call and tell him, Meisha, Nyongeze. So I started getting high well on duty, I started concerning with people, nini, nini. Until um, one day my brother messed up, and um, the police told me they are going to arrest him. And uh, actually, King Orimwangi used to work there. May he so rest in peace as well. He was in the CID department. So he told me as much as, you know, we used to drink together at TAS. Like in the Kingori was not, the Kongori was of two beers. Mm -hmm. So uh, he told me as much as you are my friends, we have to arrest your brother. And you know, my brother used to take marijuana. He used to take alcohol. He used to take Chavis. He used to take Mwoka. I used to ask him, Shons, what makes you high? He said, <laughs> so, it was 92 when we had the Molo crashes, said tribal clashes. So, up at the police station, when they were telling me now they're going to look for my brother and arrest him, my brother disappeared into the darkness at IDP. And he parked there with the IDPs. So, police were looking for him all over Kericho town, and he's in the police station. What? <laughs> That's how, th how f we are fast thinkers. So we know the only place they cannot look for you is the police station. station. Yeah. So gari ya kubeba IDP wakati likuja na ya haka ingia hapo. Haka ambia mamu mwingine za idea leso. Because hata mimi nimetoka huko likuwa na jifijo huko kwa majani chai. Nasikia baridi sana. So because alikuwa na kana dreadi, haka jifunika sasa hivi. Haka ingia kwa bus. So he got to thicker. Haka changiwa. You know now people are waiting for IDPs in Nairobi, in Thika, Nyeri, wherever. So Mukishuka took Gary Akuleta IDP. There are people there offering blankets, bid call, many companies, uh, uh, Del Monte. They were giving people money, blankets, food. So my brother Kaingia kwa line pier. So Ataya Kachangiwa. So my my dad's friends when ye walikuwa na tujua, they ask they you know they were asking my brother, where is Gasheri? Because you know they know me and him, we went to Rift Valley. Together. They, them they know Rift Valley. Mm, mm. They didn't know Kericho had to put me fiki wa na iyo clashes. So, my brother told me, ya ya muisho nilisikia ka shari jumba ya ka ime chomeka. You know now he had seen I was going to lose my job because yes. we are drinking heavily. So he was making a way for me for people to start preparing how they are going to changa for me when I come. So, uh, after some time I went to... I, I didn't know where my brother was. So I went to the police cells. They told me they didn't. Well, mm. So I, I went to, to Midwest one time and I found my, <laughs> my manager. And I sat next to him. So he told me, uh, come over here, manager, buy me a, a beer. So he said, okay, have two. So he, he, he drinks two, he buys me two, and then he asks for the bill. <laughs> you know, ugh, the people I told you I don't like, you know. So Nikamulisa, why are you asking for the bill? He said, I want to pay. Ask him for what? Because me, I'm not used to two beers and then we pay. Me, I'm, I'm used to bill in a jai side, in a pinduliwa, in a jazwai side, until there's no, there's no more place to write. That's when you tell the, the barman, Tafadhali, hesabu your bill, utuambia imefika ngapi? 
That's when you start asking ni pesa ngapi lakini not to. Nikamtetesha hapo akanunua ine and he left. So I went club hopi. From one club to another to another I came in the morning. Nikakunywa nikaona if I sleep I'll not be able to wake up. I had two pills na zilikuwa ni bebe patikabi. And I had a very good relationship with the police because hiyo Land Rover ikibeba walevi kupeleka police station ilikuwa na drop walevi mimi na ni drop home. Whoa. Yes. I had a very good relationship with them. So uh, I went, took a shower and I went. Nikaambiwa kuna kuna meeting in the boardroom ya heads of departments. The housekeeper was not there so I had to attend. I went and blacked out in the meeting. Mm. The meeting was about me. And you black out. Mm. <laughs> the way I'm drinking, the way I'm being rude to staff, the way I'm being what? And you decide to black out there. I then. blacked out there. They discussed me I think for 2 hours. With other heads of departments. I think they discussed me for 2 hours. So after they were done, the secretary wakes me up. And she tells me, "Njeri, <laughs> nika ma utafutu wa kazi." Nikamwambia, "So what? Is that why you look like you want to die?" They said, "You or me." They said, "You." Come with them, don't worry. I'm used to get losing jobs and getting I'll get another one. What is your problem? Don't you know she's tearing? She's so concerned that I'm going to lose her job and I have two children because when I went to Kericho I met another one who was an alcoholic. And we got a baby boy and when I was pregnant <laughs> he disappeared. <laughs> when I was eight months pregnant his wife came back. Akasema hiyo mimi msii yangu. Deny deny. Can you imagine eight months pregnant you can't do a top you can't do no nothing. Ni kukana pregnant si yako tu hapo. So when we are in the house my brother and I the the <laughs> porter yes came to my house and told me and you have a visitor and that visitor doesn't we are not very comfortable with that visitor coming to see you nikamuliza kwa nini ati ni ni bibi ya ule mtu ule mtu wako so my brother my brother told told the porter tell him to come to the swimming pool bar so my brother kaniambia wacha nipige boza moja na bangi pige boza moja o mother ki aki try aki jaribu kutlete ujinga ujinga hivi we are going to drown her in the swimming pool so my brother kaenda kavuta bangi zake so we went to the swimming pool <laughs> my brother told me you're going to sit here i'm going to sit in the middle she sits near the pool so that if she brings ujinga so my brother used to call uh, ujinga tafash akileta tafash tu kidogo mzee anazimia hapa so <laughs> she came my brother to ah uh, you come and sit here <laughs> and you know my brother with his dreadlocks and then says i'm a vuta bangi his eyes are so red you know he looks like an animal so my brother asked him eh tunasikia unatafuta sister yangu na mtafutia nini when tunasikia ni wewe ni bibi ya fulani na walikuaga na yeye na hii mimba ni yake and uh, now what do you want to kill my sister or what do you want from us And don't beat about the bush tell us why you've come. We want to know the reason for you coming to look for my sister. Akasema mimi naitwa fulani na nimekuja because watoto wangu wanataka kukuja. Waliniambia wako na mama mwingine ti hotel. Na huyo mama anawapenda sana. Nao wanapenda huyo mama sana. Nikaambiwa ni wewe. Nikauliza bwana yangu akaniambia ati namwekelea mimba lakini akaangalia shape ya hiyo mimba hata wakati amedunga mimi mimba inakaaga hiyo shape hiyo ni yake so he said she told me i am not i did not come here to fight i want us to be friends i want us to be friends because you took good care of my children when i was away and you know children are very sensitive mm. if you mistreat them they will always say but they kept on telling their mother to bring them to my house because of my daughter you know they used to come for swimming mm. and all that and you know me yeah, i didn't have time to cook so they will eat, eat all those in the hotel anything they want they will eat and me and the father are dr- we are drinking so anyway we became friends and my brother said as we don't talk when you're not drinking so are you buying alcohol <laughs> <Hey>. <laughs> so we drank and from there she, we became friends she used to come and pick me up take me to the clinic pay 
And actually, even when I got the baby, she paid my hospital bill. She did shopping for the baby. Wow. She brought me a new house girl who was a, new, a mom, a mama, mm. who was elderly mm. to take care of the mm. baby. Mm. And she would come and do shopping. She would steal from the husband and bring me money. <laughs> this man is not bring, giving you money. Here is the money. Yesterday I stole for myself. Today I stole for you. Shake up. Because this man will never give us money. So uh, we became very good friends. And uh, anyway, after some time now, I, uh, uh, after I, now they said I'm losing the job. The day my brother told me that the day I was told I'll, I might lose my job is mm. the day my brother called landline. Can I get my house in Tafute? Me and you can speak London. You get here, you get here. The poor blanket to do food. I don't to better put a cage on my congeni. The government mean to come and touch your job. Can you say it's where in the police petrol station, the police station? The food will best away to a quick acquire Bassi IDP so that you come. Now, me ni mobilize what na do na mumbi and you buy the Jamaica. So, if you come a chosen duty, I'll find your cousin ten percent ni angu ya kumobilize. So, that's how no, you have to get money, you have to capitalize on everything. So that is how now I, you I came back. Yeah, I came back with my two children. I can yambe us bebe kitu kuda IDP na kujaga apa nangu. So <laughs> we came. So my brother is doing for me like this. I was forgotten to cry. Then I remember. You go pick a little nduru. Like everybody is asking me, oh Gashari, Gashari, you go kuku ajet. I will not get some nduru. Mungi na namobi. Oh, si muskumbushe. So na skin yumba ili chomeka. And now I'm mobilize all the people who are working with my dad. Yes. So a lot of money up. So back another lady took us uh, uh, the first in uh, Nini uh, uh, supermarket. Ya kuchukua kikapu kuenda round. Yes. Tuliona thika ilikuwa yake. Akatuchukua, akatupeleka Deacons, akatunulia nguwe. Deacons, you can imagine Deacons that time. Eh? Had the best clothes, the best panties, the best thing, whatever. And then she took us to another lady's shop who was importing shoes. So you can imagine, no, I started dressing better even when, when I was working. So my brother got me a house in Makongeni, Niaba. So up that's, uh, that's why now we used to drink. So my brother can yambia, no, but you know what you do? the door. Bakisha ya kukunyua kabla? So we got a place nearby and we started frequenting that place. So my cousins who were paying my rent, <laughs> I was not an IDP. <laughs> so they said, we are not paying your rent anymore. Yeah. I told them, so far so good. What did you want me to do? To beg you? You've paid for six months. I don't know how many. Thank you very much. Don't even pay again. In fact, there's no point of Continuing with this conversation. Then, can we talk about something else or you buy me a drink? They went. So, nikaona, sasa hapa, plan B, last my fanya kazi. Na nilikuwa naona kama, kitu kama hiyo inaiza tokelezea. So, there was another doctor there who used to drink. He did not have a wife. First of all, nikufanya research ya umutu. No wife, no girlfriend. Works in the hospital. Earns good money. Stays in a two-bedroom house. Lives alone. Standalone house. Nikajua, uyu, nitaenda kukaa kwake. See, I told him, I chose this helps. Yes. So, when I saw him coming to the bar, towards now, as he nears the bar, I started crying. So, he came and asked me, Gashari, what, why are you crying? What is the problem? Because the way I was crying, it sounded like someone had died. So, so he, he asked me, akaitisha pombe. I continued to cry. Unkiona pombe inaenda kuhisha, unangongesa machosi. So, later is when I told him, now I don't even have a place to stay. And you know I'm an IDP. And also, you know, I don't even have a job. And I have two children. I don't even know where I'm going to go to. He said, Kashari, don't worry. I have a two-bedroom house and I live all alone. You can come in. By the time we figure out where you are go what you are going to do or where you are going to stay, just c come in with the uh, move in with me for the time being. You can use the, the, the house girl can be sleeping in the sitting room. You take the other bedroom. It has two beds for you and the children. Mm -hmm. Ah, yeah. He, he gave me a spare key. The following day I was in that house. You don't waste time when it comes to places like doctor's houses. Because other women are eyeing him. So the following day I was there with my children. You don't have time for those 
things that do not matter in a doctor's house. Hey. So I moved into his house. I moved into his house and I stayed in that best spare bedroom for I think a week. The second week ni kaanza kuangalia huu mtu akipata mtu. If he gets a girlfriend, say I can be thrown out. Yes. So I moved from that bedroom to the other one and became the wife. Hey. The owner of the house. You have to protect your territory hey. very very well because you don't know where else you are going to go in case this man changes your mind and tells you munakula sana kwa hii nyumba with your children. Hey. You yeah. became the wife. Yes, and we lived together for more than five years. Ah, yeah. Don't joke. Wait, how calculative? You have, you have to be a very fast thinker. How calculative if, can women be? If you check, most of the alcoholics and drug addicts are very sharp people. Even if they've not gone to school, wakona ile ile ya kuzaliwa nayo. Your geniusness. Yes. And uh, you know how to play with people's psychology. You, you, you I mean, you just change things and make them look real like that person who is saying Israel is in Uganda <laughs> this person who is saying Israel is in Uganda and it can convince you until you start believing it's there so <laughs> but then we kept guys that's an inside joke hi <laughs> poor then, then we started uh, Uh, you know he kept on being transferred from one hospital to another so you became wifey yes to a doctor na ukikunywa na kutalarek tu atai don't wait for people to propose they'll never propose you enter into their life and f- fix yourself there walk <laughs> <laughs> and stay there for as long as it works hmm? hey, stop suffering stop suffering outside there to waiting for a man that when will you propose propose yourself he says no move on hey. hmm? This is not a time that now we used to pen the lesser and wait at for men to tell you can I take you out take yourself take yourself feel feel good about yourself about the way you are dressed about the way you look and make sure you sit at the counter where you can see yourself kwa mira pale how your lips look and you know all those kind of things yeah if you sit here who will come looking for you here hey. people are busy hey. <laughs> Hey, and doctor. then when they see you on TV they get scared of you. Yes. Yeah, like no nobody can approach me. Because when they hear this story they think I'm a murderer. Tu yo, hiyo story yake. Ah, huyo ni moto wa kuotea mbali. Kuna mtu mwingine tu liongea You're looking at, at a rehab for a rehab and uh, I'm coming with my cousins because we want to to put up a rehab. So he said nikamuliza hiyo uh, because he had that advertised his house eh iko na huko Kandara mm. nikamuliza ni pesa ngapi akaniambia wewe ukikuja tu nikamwambia can you tell me how much so the following day when we went nikamuliza you live all alone <laughs> hey so utafute bibi hapa kwa these girls his wife had died yes. so i thought he would pick me he said uh, well, uh, 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 akaniambia <laughs> wewe nilikuongopea kwa simu <laughs> And then he said it in Kikuyu. Well, did I go to get it the You thought he would think you. I think, yes, because to Kokaribu. <laughs> yes, my young, young girls. He said I want this one. This one who is an accountant because I for lot of was a rich guy. He has so many things. And businesses and said I want the accountant. <laughs> the accountant is my cousin who is very young. <laughs> So well, people will fear us you know when they see they hear these stories you know but we are, we are wonderful people yeah. alcoholics drug addicts or people with substance use disorder the moment they become sober they are wonderful people even when they are still drinking they are wonderful people and i always tell people try to separate the two the drinking the behavior brought about by the drinking and the person mm. the person is still good mm. so even when you're doing an intervention closing on the behavior brought about by that drug because not everybody has bad behavior when they drink or when they drug so the behavior brought about after the person takes that drug or that drink mm. that is what, what you should close in on mm-hmm. not the person the person is still good okay good good yeah so uh we kept on being transferred from one hospital mm. to the other but apparently when we were in thika <gasps> When we were still in Thika, mm. Jacinta fell out with a guy in, in Kericho. So she came looking for me. Kumbe there is a time she was involved in an accident that time when she had run away from the husband and my 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 doctor my doctor now the, my husband doctor yes. is the one who was treating her at Thika district hospital. So when she came I told her she called me and then she she left a, a message at a December hotel. And I called her. 
So she told me now she's fallen out with that person and she's coming to Thika. She doesn't mm -hmm. have a place to stay, mm -hmm. but I'm a part of transfer Kukuja Thika. Mm -hmm. So I told Dr. there's somebody who is coming, whether we can accommodate that person, because she was very good to me when I was in Kericho. So when Dr. came and saw Jacinta, she said, but she, this girl, she was my patient and now she's wearing high heels. He said, come and live with us for as long as you want, plus the boys, for, plus the kids. Unaona vile maisha yes. inaendaga? Yeah. She helped me in Kericho, now it's me who is helping. Yeah. Unfortunately, she passed on with three of, two of her sisters. Mm. They died in an accident, in junction ya Machakos. The three of them, pap! But we took care of the, of, uh, of the, I took care of the son. And uh, Joyce Laboso, me her so rest in peace. She took the daughter. Oh. And uh, yeah, Waridi, yes. maybe you've heard of Waridi, yeah. the, the Kipindi Waridi. Yeah. yeah, the girl was acting Waridi. Yeah. Uh, mm -hmm. mm. yeah. So Barbara. So uh, we took care of the kid at least until they, they finished school. And um, I said, I can't let those children suffer mm -hmm. because the father married another woman mm -hmm. now. He and, moved the, on. and the woman was mistreating the children. Yes. So someone called me from Kericho and said, these children are really suffering. So then uh, Nani had already gotten wind, Joyce. So I, I said, okay, fine, I'll take Kiprono and then uh, you take the girl. the girl. So from Kika, we were taken to PGH Nyeri. PGH Nyeri, <laughs> <laughs> there was a bar near, <laughs> near the gate. It was, it was called Samaki Bar. Yeah. This Samaki Bar, it was, <laughs> it was, <laughs> So, like Ashanti, I don't even know where this guy got those bows from. You know yes. those bad bows, but yes. they're for me. <laughs> and then it's cemented, and then we're just sitting on forms there, as it's some other wooden chairs there. Yeah. So that's where we used to go and drink, because you know, when the doctor is on call, he would be called from there, because they put him in, uh, in, um, in pediatrics. Pediatrics, how can we put him living in pediatrics ward? So there was no, there's nothing much in PIDS. Once you do the ward rounds, then the rest of the time there's nothing to do. Mm. So we used to go to that by Samaki bar. So um, those, the mochari people used to come and drink there. So they can be a doc. Docs used to do PMs. You used to do PMs in Thika. So you talk to these guys, they'd be calling you for a PMs. So he said, but you know, I don't know. You know, doctor was a very quiet person. He was not like me, Mushen Mushen all mm. the time. So he said that, you know, I don't know them. I don't know. You know, first of all, we have to know people before you start, uh, you know, telling them to. Mm. Ni you just hold on. I called the waiter. Ni kawambia, like, ya, 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 kila mtu chupa mbili mbili. So, I said, Mama Takari, asante sana, asante sana. By the time they were doing the second one, I said, give them two more. Then I went and sat with them. Ni kawambia, u daktari yalikuja juzi. Sikuna watu wanakufaka hapo, eh. Bas, PMs unapatia uyu, unagawiwa pesa. Tumekubaliana. Hey. Wakasema, hey, tumekubaliana bizuri sana. So he said, doing PMs. Watch are the provincial pathologist. Aone, hey, aitui. Kwa du watu wa wakufi. Kwa ni sisa tunafanya PM. <laughs> <laughs> na mimi dionagoja watu wa PM. Hapa samaki ba. Yes. So naanza kuuliza swali. Maswali. Mutu munaona kama alikufa natural death. Ama kama ni kupigwa. Ama alitolewa mutoni, eh. Hey. Munaona kama ni kutupwa ama munaona kama ni, 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 ni kuanguka ama munaona kama ni ameuawa akatupwa. Tunaona kama ameuawa akatupwa. Nikamwambia sasa unajua daktari lazima akuja kotini as an expert witness. Hapo bei itaenda juu. So mimi diyo nalipisha PM. Nikiwa samaki ba. So once the deal is done, I had convinced the telephone operator to put an extension ya hospitali from outpatient to Samaki bar. So that we can communicate with the mortuary, we can communicate with the house, and he can be called when, when he's on call. Eh. Eh. When is the doctor on call? Eh. Your extension. Mm. And see what wengi walikuwa na juu extension, sana sana watu wa mocha. Yes. So, tukimaliza na daily kiva, na pigia watu wa mocha. So na wat, naenda na wambia enda ina umuone fulani fulani. Daktari kama kwa ward round. Na mwambia kimaliza ward round. Teremu kachini kwa wax. So. Wow. Uh, pesa sasa inakuja kugawanyua wapi. Sama Sama I used to. Wa where I'm the secretary. I also used to get a. I used to get a cut. Yes. 
kama ni watu wakupigwa wamepigana P3 daktari lazima unaona vile umegongwa unajua la, daktari lazima akuje kotini as an expert witness hapo utaongeza pesa juu ya hiyo P3 and you know it's supposed to be free but now PGH by the time we get upate mtu wa kukujazia hiyo because ya kwenda kotini most yes. of the doctors they don't like mm. even clinic officers hawapendi like so wewe unatoa do and daktari used to know those uh, police officers so kama ni siku ya kotini wanamkujia na Land Rover mm. anaenda kutania akimaliza kotini ana dropiwa hey. so kutoka hapa he was taken to maternity maternity ward wa mama wa nyeri the wanajua kuza I don't know whether it's the cold which is there. Unazama mapacha mapacha tatu tatu. Unajua sasa hiyo ni C section. So he was very busy hapo. So most of the times even he doesn't have time to now come and check mm. So he was complaining and complaining come ambia no doctor do you know if I were you I would not even complain. Since think I used to do tops. Si hata hapo ufanya tops so strong with you. Sasa weekend nikufanya tops. Tops tena ni pesa. Sasa weekend tulikuwa tuna sherekea vizuri so just told me just be a very good friend with an anesthetist and then the matron mwenye akwa duty hiyo weekend unafanya mm-hmm. tops unawapatia kila mtu kidogo yes. kidogo hawajafanya wewe juu umefanya huni ni dawa ameweka peke yake so tukajulikana kutoka hapo tukapeleka <laughs> alkalao kwanza the, the, the pmo dio kwanza alipiga simu mm. akauliza So tukaambiwa ni yeye yeye anafanywa anafanyaga so they saw he's very free due akapeleka kwa maternity so makate, mat, mat, maternity juu ya hizo tops tukapelekwa Olkalo sub district hospital hapo the... <laughs> mwaitu kutoka nda hivyo akapigia pmo mm. provincial ya medical visa kama vya sitakia watu na watu hadi <laughs> mafia <laughs> ili watulia thika i don't, I don't want them here kapele kwa kirogoya <laughs> kirogoya <laughs> kufika wale video wengi kuliko <laughs> kuliko wale wako sofa yes. from physiotherapist to i don't know who everybody they just used to drink so by the time we got there this is there, a hospital eh they were the ones helping us kurutoa vitu kwa lori na kupanga nyumba haraka haraka waende watu fanye orientation ya kirogoya town where we can drink and sign when we don't have money Ah. Eh? So anyway, are you wale bi wana juu wana sikuwa na juu daktari ameletwa juu ya ulevi na bibi yake. Na kuja kuidia mlevi kupanga nyumba haraka haraka. Yeah. Men plus women. Na kuenda kusherekea huyu daktari mpya amekuja. Anyway, uh we stayed there for only two months and daktari collapsed in the house and died. Ah. He vomited blood uh, na akakufa. Unfortunately when he died I was not there his mother is the one who was there So when he died the mother went and told the clan uko kwa masaini that I'm the one who had killed him And uh, the mother was a clinical officer so I don't know what she did or did not do to save her son But the message was I killed the son So she told me that uh, you know when I asked her what happened she told me when doctor started vomiting blood dio waliitana neighbors wakakuja wakampeleka kashoti alikufia kashoti mm-hmm. Fortunately or unfortunately one of my board members was the MOH then is the one who told me the truth Doctor was found dead in the house and you could see the traces of blood wherever he was trying to look for help So my house girl is the one who went, who, who went to scream outside and called the neighbors. And the mother was telling them at our channel na yeye. So he died in the house. So I was called uh, from where I was and uh, I know doctor kept on telling me that they do not go. I have a bad feeling something bad might happen, but I don't know what it is. So nikamuliza do you think you unaona kama naweza pata accident ama nini akaniambia hapana lakini niko na feeling kitu kuna kitu ita happen na si kitu mzuri mm. so he was really try begging me not to go so I was told that he eh kuja haraka daktari ame ame gonjeka sana so when i got to think i when i was told si kugonjeka ameshakufa so when i went to kirogoya 
I insist I, I wanted a postmortem. But by the time I insisted I wanted a postmortem, the body had already been moved from Kirwaya to <coughs> Chiromo. And she said the son had a new postmortem. So I was not allowed to view the body. I was not allowed to bury him. I didn't go beyond Chiromo. Mm. And they told me, you come, we'll kill you. They had come with a lot of Maasai's in shukas and swords and whatever to come and see who is this who killed their own. Mm. So after that, my drinking got so bad. Mm. Because you see, this is a loss of a person I loved and who truly loved me. Because I believe that's the only man who has ever truly loved me in my life. Apart from my dad, you know. Truly loving me, you know how you are. Siju kama ni yuo ulevi ilikuwa inatushikanisha vizuri ama ni nini but you know when a person truly loves you can feel it so it was a big big blow to me at least they should have allowed me near the mazishi because even my mom told them allow Jerry to bury the, uh, 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 whatever husband or friend or whatever you want to call this relationship because sisi tunamjua daktari paka nyumbani nyinyi mnajua Jerry amekuja paka kwenu nyumbani what is this big problem and they said, we said she should not come. And she will not visit the body. We will not allow her even to go near that coffin. Because she knows what she did to him. Mm -hmm. So I insisted I will go. My mom told me. They said, they said, Jaribu. Utakuja mma, ukiwa, utakuja, ukiwa hai, mutarudi mukiwa maitika maishirini. So my mom told me there is no point. Mm -hmm. Nakuna aja tuende uko, tuanze vita. Mm -hmm. And they'll beat us. We are in the area yeah. Yeah, to go ground quow. <coughs> so, to lingia Jogonas. <coughs> Najua sasa, when you're frustrated like that, you just want a drink. So we went to Jogonas Westlands. We drank there until evening. My mom took the children. Imagine, by the time I went to Kirogoya, walikuwa mesha kuja wa mebeba kila kitu, including our clothes. Tulibaki na guazile, tulizukua tumeva asku ya mazishi. So it's starting all over again. So my mom told me, no, let me go with the children. At least we see if we can get boarding school for them. So my mom took the children. I went to live with a family friend in Thika. And this is when now my downward spiral started. Because I started drinking second generation alcoholic drinks. So unaniona kwa wainze spirit sokoni. Nimeka hapo makongeni market. You know, you're just so lost. You feel so lost. Because I was asking myself a lot of questions. How did he die and what made him bleed this much? Because the house was full of blood. From sitting room to bathroom to bedroom to the toilet to the kitchen. I think he was moving all over. I think I don't know what he was looking for. I don't know, but the house was just full of blood. And the mother is just seated there. So anyway, after I arrived, uh, even in Kiruga, she just took off. So it was bad. So my friend came from Germany and she found me. I called her, hey, Kashari, I'm going to go to the house. Kashari, I'm going to go to the house. I said, oh, Kashari, squeeze. I'm going to go to the second generation. Do you know she came looking for me? I said, hey, Kashari, I'm going to go to the house. I said, hey, Kashari, I'm going to go to the house. I'm sending you an invitation letter. So that's how I went to Germany. Nikaenda Germany na ulevi yangu. Hapo ilisaidia because sidhani ningekuwa nimeenda Germany kama si huyu ulevi unaona inasaidia kwa sababu ngine. Lakini sisemi watu wa kunywa dio waende Germany. So <laughs> you might drink and die waiting to go to Germany. Before going, Before to, Germany. going to Germany. So I went to Germany. I lived with my friend for some time and then you know my drinking got out of hand because there's a lot of uh, alcohol. First of all, Russian vodka is very cheap and, you know, we used to keep a lot of Russian vodka in the house. So I fell out with my friend and she said, no more alcohol in the house. So one day I woke up with very severe withdrawals. There was a bar owned by a Cameroonian called Cafe Duck. So that's why we used to go most of the times. So I went to Cafe Duck, I looked at the alcohol, Sina Pesa, because she used to keep my money for me. Sina Pesa, so I started crying. Mm -hmm. Yani I'm mourning the alcohol at the counter because I can't reach it. Yani niko kwa bar na sina pesa na sina pombe. 
una unaangalia pombe namna hii una machosi natoka ni wewe joy yeye na dige kunywa unaangaliana unaangaliana una, una na pombe hivi na, na uweze kuikunywa mm. so when i say crying the bama tears help the, the owner came and said anna what's the problem i didn't talk to him so he just told the bama to give me two tots of russian vodka nikamaliza in a packet of cigarettes nikamaliza and then hiyo nikupiga flash nikapata tots zingine bili nikapiga flash nika sasa nikaanza kupata zile fits so after some time i stabilized akili ikafunguka ukisikia wao wanasema kutoa lock ni akili makwa imefungu imefungwa if you can't think and that's why after people are not function before they take that first drink and that's why you find people smelling of alcohol in the morning because they have to take that first drink to function so akili kufunguka kaangalia tu mzungu twingine hapo you know not at the only africans ati wanatoa lock wazungu ndio wabaya sana especially germans na kutoa lock so nikaangalia na kasoma i can see money here mtu tu wazungu katuliza have you ever been to kenya no no ana tell us about kenya i said me about kenya to tell you just free of charge if you want to hear anything about kenya i have a lot of stories about the big fives about the maasai about the samburus their culture their what and they said no ana i tell if you pay i'll tell you so there was another mini bar so we used to go to the mini bar they pay i sasa na wafunza about the wildlife unge fikiri me dio director of Kenya Wildlife Society Nanza na lion one week Lenna dikiti ya kuangelelea siku moja and you know the, the owner of cafe that told me as long as you're giving these talks alcohol in the house for you so unarefusha story how they give bath when they meet the season they meet how it's the lioness that chooses the male to meet with hey I knew a lot of things. Eh uh, in Naza in in a, in a, in a beba member for how long gestation period, lactation period, when it starts teaching the cubs how to hunt and how they starts the 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 need the lioness starts feeding the cubs on soft yes. uh, meat like liver, the heart. Come on. You know. Come on, Anna. One week, <laughs> one week, and then Friday the Q and A. So, Friday the Q and A. So where are students who are going to Q and A? Then, the Kongo, the Kongo. Then I, I ran out of topics. The Kongo tribes of K. Na Masai Samburu Pokot Giriama yes nikaona hapa sasa siku moja wataniuliza kitu nikose kitu ya kusema so another muzungu comes with a photo of a small bird like this at i asked him where did you take this photo he, he told me in Tsavo National Park mimi sijawahi sasa hata kutoka Mombasa Road airport sijawahi hata enda huko mbele yes. hata Machakos and then he's telling me about Tsavo so nikamwambia you know now I'm the teacher I have to yeah. know. So I don't ah oh, this one in Kenya we call it canyoni bird. Oh my god. <laughs> Is it an right for me? <laughs> I wrote at the back of the photo canyoni. You know you have to be very sharp. Very very sharp. Wow. <laughs> and he paid. There's nothing for free. Wow. So in that bar there was an old muzungu. Mmoja wa wale wakutoa lock. So I started asking about that muzungu because I know this muzungu will not live for very long because i don't want someone who will live for long so i used to sit next to him he used to ask a lot of questions about kenya so uh, i tried to find out about his background he was an orphan no siblings yes. um no parents no children hakuna brothers and sisters nikajua hapo hakuna case ya mali najua the way you keep on talking you know the more you sit with a person the closer you become So he told me one day Anna I would like to marry you. I said when I fell in love with you long time ago I didn't know how to tell you. Anna will you marry me? I said yes when I will marry you. Sasa nilikuwa naangalia pesa na kifo imeshikana. So How can you you can say no I'm once a kuringaringa na ni kanda any time. How old was he? I don't know 82 I don't know 70 something. And you? 39. Hey. So I called my brother who was bangi. 
Nikamwambia mzee, kuna mzungu hapa anakaa kifo na pesa imeshikana. Kaniambia speedisha mlete. Usikoje huko huko atakusumbua spinster certificate kuja hapa tuhongane. Afadhali yakuwa ya asubuhi akufe sana nane sisi tubaki na mali certificate. That's the thinking of an addict. Selfish thinking of an addict. We are very selfish people. And you can do anything for that money to sustain your drinking. So you don't think even about this person's health. You are thinking of how when he dies, what are you going to be left with? You see? So we came. So he started coughing because he used to take he used to smoke unfiltered cigarettes, eh? Tobacco he used to roll it himself. So kama kiraiko. So he used to cough very badly. So he started coughing. Wah! Oh, oh, oh. My brother kamwangalia kaniambia gasheri spedisha harusi. Wewe anaweza kukitoa anytime. Umeona danger hapo. <laughs> Then my brother said, I've offered myself to be the best man. <laughs> tulikuwa tumeenda kwa AG tunaambiwa si juu 2 weeks, juu yes. 3 weeks, juu 21 days. Yeah. My brother kaniambia mzee sisi tulikuja na pesa. Wewe tuende uhaongane ni mkikumu gani hataki pesa. So we went back to the AG with my brother tukatafuta mtu wa kuhonga ndio tuspidisha sasa brother na mwambia ataka sister yako mtu ana pesa anta. Karibu kukitoa mzee si wacha wewe spidisha atkitoage baada kama tuko na saa na saa. So akatupushia to the next week on Tuesday. So kutoka hapo ni kwenda kupima nguo. Na tuko na mzee unajua ashikanishi kiswa. So from then nikamwambia you know our wedding is on in Tuesday. So we go buy clothes. He said no Anna, I have my suit. I said I have to buy a new dress. And this new dress is not that that way big wedding dress. There was a tailor there. Mm. Just up or somewhere in town. Mm-hmm. So I told the tailor I want a wedding just a simple one. Akaniambia two weeks. Nikamwambia ah let the material cream. Ukate mkono, upate low neck na uweke <laughs> Ni length put two slits na work lining. I'm coming for that dress in two hours. And they can be Can we go to this bar and we be drinking while we are waiting for the wedding dress? Across the road the kaona duka ya viatu. I went and picked cream shoes. Bus. <laughs> Tukarudi kwa bar. The, the tailor came and called me to fit. Yes. It was ready. I called Blue Post Hotel. I booked the hotel. Tukapigia mtu wa keki, tuka uh, tuka book keki and then my brother told me now invite people credit kisha invitations inafika hapo bro post tuesday bora madhi akuje na wale wa mama wa kucheza yes. kuchezea bibi harusi yes. wewe ungeniona hapo hey. tugwe na mwana harusi <laughs> <laughs> ikaenda hivyo so you did the wedding mm. hey. and reception ilikuwa blue post so after that uh, Then I went back to Germany. You never loved him at all at all. Sasa unajua kuna ile love unaweza penda mtu juu ya ile kitu anaweza kukuachia. <laughs> Because like no yeah where is the love you tell me. <laughs> Ujue an elderly man first of all he's very insecure. Uh, he's very possessive because you are still young and beautiful he doesn't want to see young men around you so whenever we go and he saw young people in the hotel he said and i don't trust these young men i don't trust them let's go home and then he wants us to buy vodka go and drink in the house unaona how do you love such a person me i don't want to go and drink in the house me i want to stay here and talk to people one day we took him to the disco I regretted all my life why we are taking him. No Anna they are dancing with you too much. I don't like. <laughs> Sasa, what did you go to do in the disco? See ni ku dance. And say no 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 no. I don't like your brother. He brings the young men. I think my brother is and he, they are his friends. So we had now to go home. So now my brother told me, "Mumu mzee wako anasumbua sana huyu mzee." Na sasa hatuwezi kwenda kunywa na peace because of young men, young men, young men. Siku moja my brother akamletea changa. Changa ile haijawekwa maji, ile yani haijabatizwa. So akawekewa akawekewa line. <laughs> Chilled. Akakunywa kidogo akasema very good. Very good African wine. Yes. Akakunywa <laughs> glass tatu. Wacha alale. Alingorota. Ningo five hour. Na ndoa kaniambia tutakuwa tunampea hii jioni ya kikula. Ampea glass mbili tatu. <laughs> 
analala sisi tunakitoa you know that's what he used to do until now he went back to germany and uh, he was his health was not good and alikuwa amekatazwa pombe na daktari because he had had gone five operations your intestines mm -hmm. his intestines were rotting mm -hmm, mm -hmm. So then the doctor told him, if you continue drinking, you just die. So he wanted to adapt my children so that I don't keep on coming back to Kenya for the young men. And uh, so that he, he can adapt the children. He wanted to s s sign. There, there are some papers that his lawyer was supposed to sign. Dioniku Genazo. Now I interpret Dioniku Genazo so that Dio Zakwanisha Nataka could adapt the children. Dio, I'm allowed to go with the children. So he actually went and died before he died. He did that. So he was actually found in the house. Kama ameketi na vodka yake hapo, amekufa. Actually, it's the neighbors who called the police. And they said, we've not had any movement in the next house for about three days. So the police came, broke the door, and they found him dead. Mm. Mm. So when he died, uh, Shiko called me and told me then has died. Nika mbuye hiyo tulikuwa tunatarajia. Lakini, ameandika nini? Shiko went to the lawyer. Mwambia lawyer, walikuwa wanatumia the same lawyer. So Shiko said, went to the lawyer and said, you know, Vena has been found in the house. He said, okay, fine, I know that. But you know, he was, he has a wife in Kenya. He said, we don't know. The German government does not know. So she can't inherit anything. Tulilia three days. Can you imagine three days? Because how do you import a man to marry you so that he can die and leave you all that property? Nyumba, a very nice Mercedes, you know. The machines, not cars, machine. You know, the German machine. And then he just dies like an idiot without writing anything. You know, it, it was very frustrating. Very, very frustrating. We cried for three days, not his death. So my brother, Akasema, was saying, this man should have died here in Kenya because to Gepeleka City Mochat, to Mtoe Yo Chuma, he kwa mgu. To to use the upper Kenyatta orthopedics at least to to put a kit. Love to mpeleke liya chukuliwa na watu embassy apo because he had a very expensive gold chain to make gemwango ayo na chuma mugu because that chuma is very expensive in Kenyatta. At least to get put a kit. So my brother was here. Na vile ni lichi tole akua best man di. Okay, and I will need it. I love will need it, Mama. Mama Betty, this is what you do. We all we had planned very well. Me Nikki and then Nita, as yes, my best man, <laughs> and then yeah, kai kai. I eat a baby nam toto, and then we invite our mom so that we all live in Germany very comfortably because the house was big. <laughs> that man. Bure, uli toka bure. Can you imagine, kirai? <laughs> I swear, guys, there's a lesson in this story. <laughs> hey, just bear with us. I, wow. We are still rebuilding. <laughs> <laughs> I promise. <laughs> so, after he died, <coughs> so, no, my mom told us, I don't want to see anybody crying because of that man's death and his man in this house. Then my mom was telling me, at Unajua hata ungeenda hiyo Jeremani ukufia uko na ulevi yako. Which, could, which is true. Which is true. You know, at times, when God wants to use you, he, he removes the people who would obstruct, you know, your growth towards his kingdom or towards your purpose in life. So God wanted to use me in a way, and he knew if I went to Germany, most probably, Ata singe fika ile kiwango mungu walikuwa nataka nifike. Where God wanted me. So he had to remove. Daktari had to go. Then had to go. And then uh, I think I had to get to the bot. Uh, had to hit rock bottom. Real quick. For God to turn things around. For him to use me the way he is using me today. So when Vena died now there is no, there's no point of crying. Now, now let's start selling <coughs> the things that I had. The little things that come with from Germany. I sold my wedding ring. I sold Because I went to second generation alcoholic drinks. It became too exp expensive and then I started drinking Changa. So I sold my wedding ring. I sold my engagement ring. I sold my dress. I mean I sold literally everything. Because now I, I started living in very low cost houses. Eventually I, I went to live in the slums of Thika. Actually, by the time
I went to rehab, I was removed from Kiandutu. Kiandutu slums. And actually, I'm still with my brother. My brother got me a shanty opposite the Changaden. So that nikikunywa uh, apo na ingia kwa keja. I had sold the lock ya mlango ya nyumba. I exchanged it with a glass of changa. Uh, I sold literally everything that, including shoes. Ilikuwa na tembea na pati pati ya ifanani. So it got to a point where I became very suicidal. I went to church. I wanted to get born again. Ilikuwa na indaka crusade. Na wakoka asubui na saabu. So, me ni, na wakoka na enda na lala. In the morning, si, lazima kutuwa elo kwa changa. So, unakutana na wama mama sema, Hey, buwana yesu kwa siku na ambia, ujinga ya iyo staka, ujinga ina iyo staka kia subui. Matunia gosu. What is this you are telling me? And I leave them and I go to the, ati si ule wakoka jana, ah, staki. I go and drink. And then I, uh, maybe during the day, kumbuka nilikuwa ni meokoka, and then, you know, you brush it off. And then I go and get uh, na okoka tena. You know, those crusades used to be at night. So I decided, let me go and get born again during the day. <laughs> it might help. And then, you know, I used to pass that church and I used to abuse them. When they're having the lunchtime service. Nini hata muki imba imba hapo. Nini muta nikuta huko juu bingu ni kwa mungu tukiwa na pita kwa mlango. Some of you will not enter because makosa yangu ni ulevi. And when I go to heaven there is no alcohol. Makosa yenu we don't know what you do at night. Kazi yenu ni kusema kwa juu alevi, 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 alevi. You will find me in heaven with Peter at the gate. Yes. Ushering mm. gates. Yes. Ushering in people. <laughs> in fact even uu ukikufa mungu atakuliza ulikuwa mlevi ye. Yeah, Bazi we end heaven because umeteseka sana kwa hiyo ulevi ya. <laughs> So anyway, when I went to church, they threw me out. Yeah. Vibaya sana. <laughs> so they threw me, they carried me and threw me on the other side of the road. So I sat on a stone and I said, no, the best thing is to die. I've been in and out of hospital many times and I used to put my medication in a tin. Nika ena, nika nunua changa, nika kunya dawa. Hoping itakufa. So, uh, my brother would come at the nick of time mm. and save me and take me to hospital. So I attempted suicide three times because I just wanted to die. So the, the, this last time, Mama wa Mother's Union, Akwapa. You know, you have that spiritual void, you know, and that's why I kept on going to those crusades. You have that spiritual void because you don't know why God cannot stop this drinking. You want to stop. You want to connect with people. You cannot. Everybody is rejecting you. Everybody is running away from you. You know how lonely that life can be. And then, because of these men in my life who have been dying, people used to say, I have a red thigh. The red thigh is a woman who has been cast. That's in Kikuyu. A woman who, who is cast and every, every man who comes into her life dies. So when you tell someone to buy you a drink, he says, and I can wear pale kwa ile kona, I don't want to die. So everybody now thought if I drink next to them, they will die also. Mm -hmm. So you can imagine the kind of life I was living, a very lonely, frustrated life. I want to stop, I'm not able to stop. I want to connect with other people I'm not able to. Because I was very abusive. Nilikuwa natukana watu paka mutu moja kanyuza. Ulienda kinya polytechnic kutusomea, kusomea catering ama matusi. Because matusi yako ni ya kukuja na ndege kwa maji. International. Mm. Ati, ni mago kana ndege maine. You can imagine an aeroplane on, on top of the ocean. Ati kilete matusi. <laughs> <laughs> I'm telling you the things we hear in those dance. Yes. So, uh, this time round, this lady, wa mother's union, I used to like when the pastors used to come in the evening, they pray for us, and then you know, they would say they pray for all the patients in the world. They would read the Bible for us. And you know, it was so consoling. I used to feel so good. Then this woman died. Hmm? Nilipik Anduru is like my relative. But Niliuliza Mungu, how do you pick people? I'm making direct appointment with you. This is the third time. You are not taking me. Sasa who mothers, who you mother, who mama, who, 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 who mama, who mother's union. Why have you picked her instead of me? Because she's been serving you in church. She's been doing what? And now why did you? I made noise. I made noise. I went crazy. 
I started now going to all the uh, kabati za watu nikikunywa glucose. I said send mama iba pombe yangu. I went nuts. Another old lady nikamwambia sportsman yangu utanipea. And other is mtakuchapa vibaya sana. I psychosis just set in. Alcohol induced psychosis. And then from there I drifted into a coma and I was I had to be rushed to Nairobi hospital. So after some time I was in HDU for some time and then I was discharged. It, it was so bad. It was, death was so near yet so far. And uh, when I went back, I went back still to the Changaden. And I sat there and I was contemplating, do I drink or do I commit suicide? Or do I nikunya dawa tena? So as I was seated there, I saw a guy coming. Nikaona, nikaona. Nilikuwa na muangalia. You know, we, ha we used to sit on stones. First, we had plastic chairs. We sold to another den. Tukaziba usiku, tukaenda tukauza den ingine. Tukalete wa form. Form tukauzia mamu wakupika changa. Ikakuwa kuni. So tukalete wa mawe. Mawe ile ya, ya kujenga ile ya mm. six by nine. Mm. Sijuini they call it in kikujigua mageto ma, mahiga ma nine. Yani mm. those big ones you can't even carry because you are so malnourished. So we used to sit on those stones. So I knew, we knew cops from far. Because ukiona Pai pale, unapika kona ingini hata kutafuta hata kupata. Yani speed ya mgu. There is one time nilikuwa nimeketi ndani in the inside the, 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 the changade and now inside the house. So the police came, nikaona kilandi, kime land. And there is no way kupotelea. Nikafungua kabati kulikuwa na githeri. So nikaweka changa yangu ndani, I sat with the githeri. So the, the, the police came and said, Ata we mama unakunyoka changa. Nika mwambia, ah, ah, ata unawambia hii changa itakuja kuwa uwa. <laughs> So I said, mini mekujia hii githeri ilikuwa mukimo. Likuwa hii mekujia hii githeri niende ni kaange. So wakati ya libeba watu landrova kutoka na mnai githeri dani ya kabati changa kuja. Nika pika flash. Mtoto, mtoto is half liter. So nika pika hii half liter speed plus quality. So <laughs> maisha ilikuwa mbaya. So when I saw this guy coming, nika shino ni pai ama si pai. Nika unamutu wana nichekesha. Hakuna paya naweza kukuchekesha. So nika goja, kakuja, and he sat next to me. He's a guy I used to drink with when I used to work at Pan Africa. So he had been to rehab. He had gone through all those stages, including kunywa changa. And the mother used to keep pigs. She used to rear pigs. So alikuwa na chika katoto ka, ka nini, ka ngurue, ananyonga, na weka hapa, na kimbia kwa changa. Shik! Anaweka, anaweka wa changa. Jikimoja. So the mum mama wachanga likuwa na nguruwe nyingi kuliko mama yake. Because watoto wate nguruwe ikizaa watoto wakinyonya nyonya kidogo. Anaenda ku exchange na changa. So later he was taken to rehab and then uh, we were family friends. So my mom told his mom, you know, about me and whatever. And said, no, we are going to uh, tell this young man and he's going to look for Gasheri. Then my mom was like, you know, Gasheri has become so abusive. I don't know. Ata mtusi vibaya sana. Akasema no, where would you uyu wangu? Uyu wangu alikuwa anatutusi paka tunashitwa kama tuko kwetu. So iyo matusi wataelewana hao wawili. So that's the guy who came to rescue me. He is the guy who came and sat next to me and told me, utakunywa nini? Nikamuza, utaninulia? Akasema eh. Because he knew if he does not buy, I'll take off. Kamambia, utakunywa mtoto. So I can eat the mtoto. Then, you know, in the in the den, we live like a big family. So everybody is just so close to one another. If we see a stranger, we have to find out who that person mm -hmm. is. So our, you know, they used to call me Makate. My brother, walikuwa na muitaka Jesus. Jesus, because my brother used to buy everybody else who, who is hers with drawers and hana pesa. Because, you know, kila mutu wana shake, wana shake, wana shake, wana shake. So I said, Jesus, ni tibu. I put a glass. Jesus, this um, ni, 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 ruma. And a pair glass. So they used to call him <laughs> Jesus. So Jesus, do you want to go to the So, and me, they used to call me Makate. You don't there, go there with your real name. So, and the other ones who give you the name. So, Makaniza, Makate, ni aje uwe nae ni nani? Ati ni nini, hey, ni Makate wakina Jesus. Siju ni nani, ule mutu ni nani. So they came. They all came. They wanted to find out who is this person. They said, I'm the best. I'm going to go to the best. And then him, he knows. Akasema wapewe jik. Jik ni hile chupea five glasses. So wakaenda. So tukaongea, that's when he started now telling about 
he started talking to me about rehab but even before he talked to me about rehab he started bring he first of all brought out the good in me and you know kashiri you are still very beautiful kashiri you are still very nice very bright in, you know kashiri i love you. even paka today even the way you are so where's me at ikosa at kukupenda hmm? i know people hate you people talk like this and that but mimi nimesema nitakutafuta until i get you because i know you are a wonderful person and you know what kashiri you'll change this nation you will change this nation because you know this alcohol which is making you attempt suicide you will talk against it believe you me because there is hope there is hope mi nimetoka rehab na kashiri nakwambia i will work with you to end the rehab utoke uanze kuongea maneno ya pombe and you'll save lives by telling people where you are coming from do you know umutu alinia ngelesa if i say crying mi nililia because for so many years hakuna mtu ameshaniambia mimi ni mzuri hakuna mtu ameshani appreciate hakuna mtu amesha why kusema anything positive about me they've just been talking about the negatives 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 look at this person who's just been here less than half an hour and he's won my heart just by bringing out the good in me when i'd lost hope in everything when i'd been suicidal when i just wanted to die when nobody cared about me when even my own relative came and asked me uliku unajua uende wapi na hata shaitani hawezi kukuitikia hell and he is a person who has seen me beyond all that and this is the person who took me to rehab and this is the person who used to come and visit me even in the rehab and this is the person who walked with me until i was discharged and this is the person who has walked with me until i'm 20 years so but i owe all that to him oh. and that's why i tell people don't close in on the bad things this person was not born an addict this person started by experimenting then they got trapped into addiction we all started by drinking but nobody in the entire world chooses to be an addict you find yourself trapped in that addiction you find yourself in that dark pit of addiction and you cannot be able to pull yourself out mm-hmm, mm-hmm. someone else has to step into the addiction world hold your hand and come out with you and that's what nick did to me mm-hmm. was stepped into my addiction world and walked out with me and from there i've not for the last 20 years i've not tested any mood altering substance now i decided i'm going to help other people i'm going to go public but i was advised by my 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 therapist not to go public until i'm 3 years i'm 3 years sober because mm, physically i'm okay psychologically emotionally it takes about 3 years for you to be stable mm. so the fact that someone has stopped drinking they say i did no in fact he has fully recovered he's not fully recovered and that's why when i introduced myself i said i am a recovering alcoholic because we keep on recovering one day at a time mm. a day at a time mm-hmm. a day at a time mm. by doing what we were taught and that's when i decided to go public to save women because there are so many women who are trapped into addiction who are seen as failures any addict is not a failure they are down but not out with treatment rehabilitation psychosocial support they can spring back to life and become uh, uh, functional human mm. beings mm. yes and they are wonderful people So after after re, after rehab uh, I worked as a volunteer in the same rehab but in a different branch now in Nairobi mm-hmm. and then we had training for people in recovery by uh, voluntary services overseas mm-hmm. a VSO yeah so they came and they trained us as addiction counselors and then after that I, the same rehab employed me in the in a in a drop in center in gara wow yeah then after that after 3 years i went public through nation mm-hmm. nation newspaper yeah. and nation tv and then that's how i got a job in nakada i worked in nakada for four years and then i resigned uh the environment was not so good for me so i decided instead of relapsing mm-hmm. i would rather lose my job and keep my sobriety i value my sobriety so much so uh now i'm back Yes. Tunakada yeah. as a board member yeah. and now I'm the vice chair of the board. Wow. 
Yeah, so I've been doing this uh, campaign for the last 20 years. I want to give hope to as many people as possible so that we don't look at alcoholics as, or people with substance use disorders as failures. They're not failures. They can spring back to life. Even if a person uh, even if a person goes to rehab multiple times, some people will need multiple mm -hmm. interventions for them, for them. Yeah, just because addiction is a chronic disease. Just the way when a person with cancer, when they come to the house and they deteriorate, we always take them back to hospital. That's what it means even for a, for a person mm -hmm. in recovery. In case they, 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 they relapse, take them back for, for, for treatment and try and find out uh, although they, we should also take responsibility, yeah. try and find out. I always tell them, use your relapse as a learning experience. Find a, or, or Try and find out what triggered you into going back. Was it family issues? Was it uh, your spouse? Was it uh, the workplace? And when I was working in the rehab, uh, before discharge, we used to do this, what's something we call exit planning, where I'd call the family and then I'll have a session with the wife alone when we are discharging. These other therapies are still there when they come for therapy. The, the family plus the spouse plus the children. But then exit planning, we, we have to do it very well. With the family, what plans do they have for this client? With the spouse, how do you want to live with this person? Because first of all, we, we encourage them to make amends with their loved ones when they are still in the rehab. Why? Because that's a, a safe therapeutic environment whereby they will not fight. Mm. Hey, this one did this to me, this one did this to me, so we will listen and then calm them down. And then by the time this person comes, is discharged, he goes to a very conducive environment where he's not judged, mm. where he's accepted. So all this, we, uh, all these therapies we have to do. And what I used to do most, invite the immediate supervisor if this person is working. Because at the workplace can also be a contributing factor. Maybe too much work, maybe the people you're working with or, you know, all those kind of things. Mm -hmm. So we have to be very, really holistic. We use a holistic approach so that we, we look at all avenues. Where can the relapse be or mm -hmm. what could be, where the triggers could be, mm -hmm. so that we address all that before the person is discharged. Mm -hmm. So this is what I've been doing. The campaign against alcohol and drug abuse, ni kama, and me, ni kama simu na sim card. Oh, one cannot function without the okay. other before in fact even <laughs> when i'm at home i will find my my phone is always ringing always ring. at times i tell I, I i tell my cousin whom i live with i will put it off i need a break he says no don't put it off because they are looking for you because they trust you and they they they, they see you are the only person who can listen mm. because at least even a, if a person flashes i always call back mm. because there's a, a guy who's trending now Chris Paskimaro. Yeah. He said, he, it's me. He, he just wrote a message on Facebook and I responded. He said, I, I'm an alcoholic. I, I want to stop this and this and this and this. Mm. And that's how he ended up in the rehab. The sisters took him to rehab and all that. Mm -hmm. So many people, you ask how many people have gotten sober because of unmath when you see very, very many. In fact, that and it's mama governor work with you. Please, please, please. You mm -hmm. Yeah, because actually, Counties are letting us down in this campaign. They are really letting us down because, you know, uh, after devolution, the mandate was devolved. Mm -hmm. So the money, the licensing of bus now goes to the county. And the money from licensing should go to treatment, rehabilitation, psychosocial support, and, uh, yes. and aftercare. Mm -hmm. So they're not doing that. So what they're doing, they're using the bus, uh, 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 the licensing of bus as a platform for uh, revenue collection, and then they build roads. Why are you building roads and there are no people to work on those farms? You, there are no people even to employ. To, yeah. to, we have to outsource people from our county to come and do roads because some of them, now I understand even now the young people have stopped now alcohol. Now they have gone so much into marijuana because marijuana is cheaper. I was there the other day and I, 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 I could see about three people with uh, drug-induced psychosis. Mm. Very young people. Very young people. Oh. And, and when they were doing... <laughs> Let me tell you one thing. Denial is at all levels. At all levels. At the individual level, at the family level, at the community level, at the county level, that's where Ata Imezidi. National level, we have goodwill of the executive. But now it's like it's dwindling down Kidogo. Mm. But I hope it's a evil. Um, you go to a tournament 
everybody is interviewed, including me, and I talk about the kind of alcoholic drinks that are found in that particular town, but when it comes to the news, I'm cut off. <laughs> Checking, you. because I'm talking about this. <laughs> I think we'll never hear your town. Mm -mm. Please, our area doesn't have that problem. So if we keep on uh, blocking. blocking and hiding our heads in the sand, and this thing is, will, will finish our people. And actually, even politicians should support us. But why they do not support us in this is, I'm not saying all, but some of them are the owners of these are manufacturers. Mm -hmm. uh, others, especially uh, in the county governments, most of them are bar owners. And uh, I don't think if you have three, four bars, you would want them closed. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Uh, so we have a challenge, a big mm -hmm. challenge in this campaign. But I believe God is on our side and I believe we'll, they will see what is happening to what they are doing to other people's children. So it's a tough campaign, it's but uh, I believe I believe uh, so far we are doing well. Mm -hmm. At least uh, Nakada, we've opened quite a number of county offices. We have regional offices. And so I believe when people of goodwill join us, really? churches and uh, religious organizations will be able to win. And actually, I say uh, the fight against alcohol and drug abuse is a collective responsibility. Everybody has to come on board. The family, the mm -hmm. community, and everybody, we have to accept that we have a problem. Mm -hmm. And believe you me, it is not a small problem. It's a big one. It is a big problem. Yes. It's big. In this country. Mm -hmm. Yes, it is. How is bro? Oh, unfortunately, he passed away. Oh, Jesus. Jesus passed away. Mm -hmm. uh, he, he developed uh, drug-related complications. Oh, his liver got messed up, his mm -hmm. kidneys, and his pancreas. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So dad gone, All bro the, gone. Bro gone and also my 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 last born sister also died and also my niece. Wow. So in at home we have four graves that are alcohol related. Yeah. So mm -hmm. we were seven in the family, now we're only two. Two. Me and my brother who mm -hmm. followed me. Who follows me. My brother didn't go to rehab. So you can imagine my mom loses her husband to alcoholism and then all her four children get into alcoholism. No, we were all alcoholics. The only person who never drank was my mom. My mom did just died two years ago Sorry. due to mm -hmm. cancer. Mm -hmm. But my mom <laughs> has seen me sober for 18, 17 years. Mm -hmm. So I was able to rebuild a relationship with her, with, her. With, my, with all the significant others, with my children. We had to go for therapy together for them to accept me. But for my last born daughter, it took quite a while because I was, I was absent in her life for, since she was four years old. So we reconnected when I think she was going to form one. So she didn't know me. She didn't know who I was in her life. In fact, she never used to address me as anybody. Nataka Viatu. You don't have a name even. She would even call my mom and say, Shosho sina Viatu sina nini. And then my mom would call me and say, Kwanu uko wapi? Nasema niko kwa nyumba. Nabona wana watoto wana nipigia kuniuliza vitu. It's because they don't even know how to address me. They don't know who I am. Who are you? Where have you been all our life? We know Shosho. The grandmother. Mm. So it's very difficult even for children. So you have reconnecting to. with the children is is uh, mm. is is not easy. Mm -hmm. But we have to make an effort. You have to say sorry many times. Don't get tired of saying sorry because you were not there. You messed up their life. They needed a mother. You were absent. They needed the father. They are dead. So it's been not been easy for the children. Mm. But um, like for my firstborn daughter, she's joined a choir in the US, she's in the US. So Akwa is adult children of alcoholics. And we have a support group like that here in Nairobi Hospital, Anderson Plaza. Uh, we, all the support groups, we have uh, the Alcoholics Anonymous support group, mm. Anderson Plaza, you, you, you'll get. Uh, we have Altin for teenagers with parents who are drinking or teenagers who are drinking. We have uh, Alanon mm. for family members of an alcoholic. And then we have uh, ACOA, Adult mm -hmm. Children of Alcoholics. Mm -hmm. All these support groups, will get them at Anderson Plaza. Mm -hmm. Although there are many, like uh, for, uh, for AA, Alcoholics Anonymous, we have at All Saints Cathedral, Holy Family Basilica, St. Paul's University Way, Consolata Westlands, and then uh, KU, Chapel. Yeah, we have many there, all mm -hmm. of us. So mm -hmm. if a person wants to know where they can go for AA support group, kindly call Nakada Helpline 1192. Then one, one, nine, two. yeah, that's our helpline number. Mm -hmm. It's free. It's it's toll free, twenty four seven. Mm -hmm. You get a counselor who will guide you, who will work with you, and 
uh, recommend either a rehab or a support group that is near uh, where you are. Okay. Yes. Looking back, mm. what do you what do you say to yourself now when you look back? Um, what do you say to one? I went through what I went through, but I don't. Uh, I don't regret. I cannot say. Uh, I regret or I have pain or I see like a lot I lost a lot of time drinking and doing all this because I would not have a story to tell. I would not give people hope because I don't have the experience. And uh, testimonies are more powerful than anything else. Testimonies are more powerful mm. than PowerPoint presentations. Mm. People who will watch and Martha will never forget the story of that Muzungu. Will not forget about how Daktari died will not forget how I, I was thrown out of the mortuary. Will not have, uh, forget how I lost my jobs because of drinking. They will not forget how I was an absent mother and I didn't have a relationship with my children. But PowerPoint presentation people's, people will forget. So God through, takes you through tests for you to have a testimony. And I'm glad I'm who I am today. I passed through what actually, why I'm so, uh, uh, people say I tell this story in a very hilarious yes, manner. Yes, you do. It's because I'm laughing at my past. Yes. I'm not ashamed of it. I'm laughing at it. Look at an umadhu. Mbakatewe kwa nafaa kika kwa changa kwa mawe masi. Sikuizi na I can go to a nice hotel, mm. eat nice food, call for an Uber. I go home. I sleep as much as I want to sleep. If I don't have anywhere to go. Because that time I never used to sleep. Naona. Ile ukulala. And I didn't tell you this. One day I drank jet fuel. Haku kwa na changa base. So my brother can yambia. What an you know, the, the, my withdrawals used to be so bad, eh? If my brother didn't come, I used to diarrhea on myself. If I don't take changa in the morning. So he had to bring changa. Feed me on that mattress and then give me a, a cigarette. And I used to smoke roaster. Because roaster in a sp spidisha kukauka. So nakauka, po, and then in a niwacha. Then I stabilize. So my brother comes and tells me, unajua nini? Hakuna steam leo. Nikamuta tutafanya li. Na niambia wafungua mdomo ni kutibu kwanza alafu nitakusho. Na tuku nitibu sasa ndiyo alikuwa na itua Jesus. <laughs> so nikamuta saa tutadu. Haka niambia kuja ni kuwenyeshe nitakusho. So tu utakaenda besi ingine ina ito ya sema. Sema ni masi. Diyo tulikuwa tumeuzia vizile forms za besi ile ingine. <laughs> so tupika kwa, kwa sema. Ni kubekelea pesa hapo. Nambu hapa ni kupika flash ukitikitoa. Yes. So my brother akabekelea pesa hapa. Pap, glass ine. Mbili ya makatena, mbili ya, 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 ya Jesus. So ni kapika flash. Kufika glass musu ni kauliza my brother. Hey, Shons, ini nini ina test petroli ya kati ni hapa? Pika flash indi ina itakuwa mande. Hey. Pika flash ukalewe mbele. <laughs> my, by the time I, I had finished the second glass because that's so so bad. I felt like I was flying. Hmm? You are smelling of gasoline everywhere. <laughs> From here, every, you sweat in a nuka. Mandege. Mandege, yo mandege. <laughs> I blacked out for 24 hours. Nili kunywa saine, nili amuka the following day saine. <laughs> so, you see, mungu amenitua kwa hiyo yote. Ni watu wangapi wamekunywa hizo mandege na wana macho leo. Mm -hmm. True. So, yo, I laugh at my past because my past is, it, it's crazy. When you imagine where you are at now, like even Juicy, I was I was invited to to receive and welcome the president in Muranga Cheki. Ah, ganiyana nikiwa kamasi desi ya nakada. Hey, kuisha. Nice. Na uli tola wa kwa slums katikati ya slums ukikuni wa changa na jeti. Hmm. God can turn things around, and yes. God is a God of second chance. Mm -hmm. That's what I believe in. Mm. And I went back to church. Now, yeah. after six years, Nikarudi Kanisa, mm -hmm. and now uh, I love church, and uh, I don't preach. Me, Sijakua preacher. Preacher. But, <laughs> my bishop says, <laughs> and he's an, an evangelist, yes, I think. You know? Yes. If you look at here, and microphone, you can see that you can see that you can see that you Tuwambe wa levi, tuwambe wa zazi wa levi. You know, because that's what I know. Mm. Yo diyo najua. Mi uke ni pia Mike, anyway, even in any church. Hata kwa harusi na mwa. Cha tuwambe wa levi. Hata jioni muzia na mukonjwe sana. <laughs> mukonjwe tokiasi mwende nyumbani. Yeah, because ili niingia. 
it's um, I love doing what I do. Mm. And you, even if you call me for an interview, I will never get tired of telling this story because it's a story of hope. Wow. And I always say any campaign without hope is useless. If you're not giving people hope, stop. Stop. Don't say, oh, I'm the vice chair and you're doing nothing. Apart from sitting, I'm not a person to sit in the office. Mm -hmm. I'm a field person. Mm -hmm. I will go here. Say to Neza talk up and I just what? Mwambie just what? Unajua nini? Tumeitwa pa lingine wacha tuende tukapeane talk huko. Yeah, you never get tired. I never get tired because mm -hmm. it's about saving lives. Mm -hmm. Yes. Na mpoa, permanent. Uh husband. Eh, si love too. Kwani? Ah, hapana. Sasa msaidia love. Mm -hmm. Ni kama ilipotea na ule msungu. <laughs> No, let me tell let me tell you one thing. You see, uh first of all, let me tell you vile tulienda harusi. Tulienda harusi so a man, walika yangu tu akakuja akaka next. See the reception and I was with my daughter and my granddaughter. So tukaanza kuongea, kuongea, kuongea. Akaniuliza na anaitwa nani nikamwambia Anmatu. Sasa unasikia ameniongelesha vile bibi yake alikufa. I think I had seen a wife now. Yes. Akaniuliza Anmatu yule anakuwa kwa TV wa kuongea maneno ya pombe. Nikamwambia ndio wakati alichukua food hakurudi kwa hiyo mesa. And then my daughter was asking me what do bea yako amepotea? Nikamwambia Me amesema kitoa. wrong number and then again not even that you know as a uh, i can get a man a husband and someone to yes, live with yes. but it would be very difficult you know unajua ni kwa nini because of my work because me i'm not a very patient person of socks iko wapi you know those kind of things and you know where you, your things are kept don't you know? ask me and uh, me i'm going for an interview eh uko kwa lean and here you are asking me about socks socks you know where they are kept you know there are some things people can do for themselves but they do not want to do for themselves. I'm not, no, I'm, not, no, I'm not telling people not to look for socks for their husbands. But kuna bitu mimi sina patience nayo. Unaona? Me let me go niongelesha walevi. And then on top of that, you see, at times you'll be told, Anne, we've booked for you a flight. You're going to Mombasa. Uh, because kuna talk unasha, unafa yes. kupea na kesho. Yes. And then, utoke hapo, there's another one in Kisumu. So where uta land Nairobi na ya asubuhi uende Kisumu na ya jioni Then this man utamwambia hizi flights unalipiwa na nakada mm. amba you know you'll start doubting Yes Hizi ma flights ma flights unalipiwa mm. na nani mm. unamwambia ni nakada Anakuliza Kwani una ulevi hii ndio imeanza kulipa flights You know you know there some they will not understand yeah. Na uwezi enda na nakada iwezi kulimbia hata SGR <laughs> Unaona <laughs> What a flight. Haiwezi kumlipia hata SGR. Then ataanza kukuuliza you are going for three days. And at times let me tell you uh, uh, one thing Lene. So uh, sasa mm, I will go for three days, right? Maybe come on like now we are going to Kitale, mm -hmm. maybe on Thursday for yeah. for our former CEO CEO's bury him. He's so rest mm -hmm. in peace. Mm -hmm. So unaona tukienda Thursday so we'll, we might come back on Saturday. Yeah. I stay Sunday. I don't know where I'll be on Monday. Unaweza ambiwa mnaenda workshop yeah. for another three days. You've stayed only one, one day with this person. And then you're going for a workshop. And you have a house girl. Si so, anaanza kuangalia huyu mwenye anapika na kuletea Kabisa? nini. Kabisa. And then mtaanza kukosana buri. Tusidanganyane. Yeah, tusidanganyane. Na yule anaweza available. I cannot say I'll be an available wife. And I cannot tag you along everywhere. Mm -hmm. No. This story will bore you. Kido kido kwa ataanza kusema na muaibisha. Hmm? Bono una peana hizo story. Bono una peana hizo story. In fact, I don't want from today onwards. I don't want to. Ah, uh, because -uh, I'll just take you take your items and go. Because I don't think I'll take my items and go to come to your house. I live with my granddaughter, and I have a cousin I'm living with, and my granddaughter and me. I'm not here to to take them uh, to someone's house, and then when they get tired of you, you start taking your granddaughter and coming back to your house. No, those kind of things I will not do. Eh. So if you will marry me, come so that because it will be easy for you to pack things and go. 
<laughs> yeah, as simple as that. You know, hakuna haja ya kusumbuana. Hakuna haja, hakuna haja. Um. Mm. <laughs> Ni kusumbuana, kusumbuana bure over small things. So, over socks. Yeah, you can have a friend. Mm. And then maybe when you are, you are free, munaiza enda pali kama naivasha. Yes. Lakini kifika mande, bas, hiyo story imeisha, tunarudi wax. Good. Yeah. Hey. Kila mtu waende kazi yake. Kazi yake, tufane kazi. Lakini siku fuatana, fuatana. Uh-huh. Na kulizwa, what time is this na ujafika nyumbani? Hey. I get home at one, I get home at two, I get home at five in the morning. Not because I've been drinking, not because I've been partying, not because I've been to the disco, but nimekuwa kazi na nimetoka huko late. Kama the other day I was in um, Muranga. Mm. I left uh, uh, nini at uh, the stadium at past 7.30, going to 8. So I was getting to Gong at about 11, 11.30 because we stopped somewhere at least for a snack. Mm, mm. So someone is asking you, Muranga na hapa, kwanu hiyo ni distance gani? Na ujafika? Na watu wako wana kuangalia hivi kama utasema mustop pali because they can't stop without you giving them permission. And they need a like break. Yes. They need a break. Na mutu anakugoja hapo. Muranga na hapa. Nisangapi. Mm-hmm. Anyways. So ah. those kind of things miss wezi. Mm. Kusema ukweli. Mm. Ya kulizo umetoka wapi na hivi sangapi. Na, and then on top of that, at times, if for example we are going to Kiruwea or Kirinyaga or Sam or Nyeri, Maybe the driver will come and pick me up at 5.30. That means I'll wake up at 4, 4.30. Yes. wake up make up yangu, nijitayarishe. So that by the time I come, come the, when we were going for those meetings as deputy president, mm. unajua we used to leave at times at 4. Because we have to be there before anything yanze. Na sasa, when we are talking about alcohol and drug abuse, we are the lead agency. You are the vice chair. So you should be there even two hours before, before. the deputy president mm-hmm. uh, arrives. Ama kama ni flight umebukiwa ya asubuhi lazima uamke mapema mm. alafu anakuuliza unaenda wapi mapema hii <laughs> ni wa, ni, wa, ni walebi ni tawakoa ama ni mapenzi toka wimbon mimi naokoa walebi si mapenzi but you've done an amazing job mm. kudos I know, you know, we are saying it as a joke. People would not want to share some of these yeah, yeah. deep things. Yeah, yeah. It's, it's, it's the, their deep based. experiences, mm. you know. Mm. There are people who will term it as shameful. Mm. There are mm. people who will not understand. But you've done an amazing job. Mm. I can tell you for free. Mm. Even right now, just if anyone, the way you you tell your story in such a hilarious manner. Mm. There are people who will watch and they will never forget. Mm. Na every time mm. tu atakuwa nataka ukaribia changa anasema <laughs> ah, 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 ah. they will remember yeah. your face, they will remember your voice, Absolutely. they will remember your laughter. Mm. So I honestly, honestly second you. Maybe that's the gift. Mm. That's the purpose. Mm. That's why you Amen. are here. You've done incredible. Mm. Uh, Chris, I interviewed Chris. A uh, couple, okay. yeah, yeah, a couple of years back, you know, okay. he mentioned you uh-huh. in that interview. You okay. know, when I see, Chris yeah, yeah, he did that. When I see people constantly coming out of those yeah. deep holes, mm. and they can look at you and say it's because of her story. Mm. We have a problem in this country. Oh yes, we we had our guys. You can go also watch that interview we did extensively with Teresa on people who are battling addiction it's it people need to stop the the way you are saying we need to stop hiding our faces on yeah. the side. we have a problem mm, we have a problem shida. Uh, shida. if mm. we can afford kitu ya 30 bob mm. kama inaacho irotate venye ina rotate you know e by the way if it should be declared a national disaster, disaster. i try to push for that during kibaki's time in kakula maji Endelea, uh, mm. it should be declared, declared a national disaster. You know, we saw, have a problem. Yeah, I saw, um, what is it called? They said uh, the Gen Z's are drinking less, you mm. know, less alcohol. Less alcohol Good. and more synthetic drugs. No, but drugs. they won't say the rest. Mm-hmm. They want to make it look like they are easy on alcohol. They are but easy. It's actually true. It's they are easy fa- on alcohol. they are more on what? They are more on marijuana, there. synthetic, uh, synthetic uh, drugs, yes. which are... Sasa iyo ano, eh. ano, e, enema, e, alcohol enema. Ya. Yeah. Unawekwa pipe huku nyuma, ati mm. diyo, unawekewa Johnny Walker hapa juu. Mm. Ati tare, inateremuka hivi, sasa we umepiga magoti, uwekwe pombe. <laughs> 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 Baya 
another man because it's not a woman hmm? na pipe akuengeza akuingisha pipe akuweke pombe hapa juu yes hmm? yes so even this it's air, happening in peace eh hiyo unaona ati wanachukua kuchukua parties mm. ni kuwekewa hiyo ni kuwekewa hiyo hizo mapanja you don't even know what is included there can you imagine a man kneeling with his nyash up dio <laughs> <laughs> arekwe pombe and we are done guys bye <laughs> <laughs> Am I kneeling with the world? Ah, I will love you. No, it's true. We love you. How else can you put that alcohol? <laughs> we didn't have to say nyash now, did we? <laughs> That's how it's done. You know it's better to tell you know. I tell people I'm, I'm a truthful woman. <laughs> it's okay, I'm <laughs> That's why I'm the vice chair hey, and the deputy hey, deputy the deputy president is a truthful man. Yes. I'm also a very truthful woman hey. when it comes to alcohol and drug abuse. Yes. And I say things as they, as are. they are. Let us share the facts Good. and save lives. And save li- let us share the facts, facts and, and save, save lives. Let us sh- share the facts. Say, uh, share, share, say. <laughs> Let us share our stories <laughs> and, and save, save lives. lives. Yes. I appreciate I appreciate you. Mm. You are such an amazing person to have a conversation. You are Thank beautiful. You. Thank you. You I should have you. been number 1. I- imagine the Vibaya sana. Mm. Lakini you are number 1 here Please saving don't mind me because <laughs> I'm <laughs> But you are here saving lives now. I'm here saving you are, lives. You are here saving lives mm. which is really beautiful. Yes. Any person that is watching, anyone that's listening to you, I could easily also give this conversation for free to other platforms because mm. I think your story will save a lot of people. Mm. Honestly. Mm. Anyone that is watching and you feel like you want to upload this mm. on your own platform. Mm give me that email write me that email mm. info at lnn dot digital i don't mind sharing because i feel like this will help mm. a lot of people your mistake is to pick it here and upload it without mm. my permission yes. we'll give you a copyright strike mm. but if anyone wants to create awareness using this i'm ready to honestly share anyone that is watching what do you want them to take home what's that part if you have not started doing mm. alcohol and drugs do mm-hmm. not start And if you have started and you want to stop seek professional help we are there to guide you we are there to listen to you because many people get lost because nobody listens mm-hmm. to them mm-hmm. it's time we started listening to them as yes. parents as guardians as family members let us listen to that person he is our brother mlevi ni ni watu na ni wetu na watu wasiogope rehab what what was your go rehab is the you know they think uh, rehab is for failures no mm. rehab is a treatment facilities for people struggling with mm-hmm. substance abuse good mm. we are yeah, therapeutic mm. environments mm-hmm. for you to heal mm-hmm. mm. beautiful mm. i want to wind up mm. but i don't want to finish unless you say lean to malize mm. do you feel like to malize am there something you wanted to add that you might want to touch on No, hakuna kitu ingine. Tuko salama. Tuko sawa. Ah, nimecheka kabisa <laughs> leo. <laughs> I don't remember laughing that akia to in a stick. I don't remember laughing this way, but I've also learned a lot. Mm-hmm. I've also learned a lot. It's a conversation closer home. Mm-hmm. So I thought I would maybe host you in tears and mm-hmm. nini, but I've really loved this connection. Mm-hmm. And I know a lot of families as I said will watch this mm-hmm. and we have given hope yes and be our way to buy and also where can they find you thank you very much for watching and uh, recovery is possible there is hope we are here for you uh, be kind to the people with substance use disorders they are human they are human beings as well uh walevi ni watu na ni wetu let us love them let us bring out the good in them let them seek professional help thank you beautiful mm. hi be kind to people mm-hmm. with substance use disorder yeah. ni wetu mm. walevi ni watu na ni wetu na ni wetu mm. and Anne is giving hope yes sio mapenzi mm. so tafadhali <laughs> usijaribu kurusha mistari hapo please please weka any mtu wa socks unakuja sangapi ah don't don't how can people find you Anne? 
they can call me on 0726596040. All right. Eh? Mm. Shukran sana. Asante. Really happy to have finally had this conversation with you. Yes. Dama alikuwa nasikia tutahamishu <laughs> anasema <laughs> eh hey, hey. Yeah, so we appreciate also our producer Damaris for yes. putting it together. Mm. It's been an amazing show mm. and you guys that are watching, I really you know what we do on the show. It's your take home eh? mm. that I would really appreciate on the comment section tell me what you've learned from today's episode nakada's helpline number is on your screen right now remember guys we have to continue having this conversation if you also want to understand addiction in depth we did a video with trees i think two weeks ago you can refer to this video it will also be pinned on your comment section msio gope rehab they also have a rehab and also if you call and maybe there are rehabs that she can be able to recommend msio gope let's have this conversation I really hope that we get to share also this video to as many people as possible and to jue ha watu ni wetu and we have to continue giving hope one story at a time. I've really loved hosting and she's really made me happy and I know she's made you guys laugh but don't forget the agenda is to be able to share this video and also extend hope to anyone that is battling addiction. Sawa sawa. My name is Lynn. Really happy to have hosted this show today. Thank you to my team. <coughs> Leo Muga wa mecheka. I don't know. Everyone here was just laughing. But I really do appreciate the team that comes to just be able to film this. Shukran sana. And also to you guys uh, for watching. We really do not take you for granted. Neliske watu aliniambia Lynn 1.5 million subscribers. Here we go. So subscribe if you haven't. Bye bye.